people trolling message boards and gonna pay shells. One thing that I want to tell you guys, all right, because I see this happen all the time, is all of a sudden, big announcement, a content creator who's incredibly prominent and who everyone apparently likes, even though I don't know who the fuck they are, Pause. is... You don't need to know who they are. What do you mean, apparently everybody likes it, even prominent. though I don't know them? Okay, there have been so many times where I'll be looking up an anime uh, YouTuber for Revisit It, and I'll go, all right, let's check out them, and they got like 600K subs. Yeah. And I'm like, I have never heard of this person in my life. Do you know how many YouTubers I can look around and go, before us, I knew who some ordinary gamers was, who has like 4 million subscribers, did not know who they were. I, you don't know until you stumble upon somebody, even if they've got millions of subs. Uh, what you, why is he just... Well, apparently, they're... I don't I ain't never... It don't matter if you never heard about them. And is this still talking about Lindsay Ellis? Absolutely. Then you would know because he was talking about the Nostalgia Critic. Oh, he was a fan of them back in the day. So what are you talking about? Maybe he doesn't know that she was Lindsay. Maybe he just knows her simply as a nostalgia. You know what? He he does fall out of favor of YouTube until it's, it's a needed for his narrative. Or if they make fun of him and he goes, oh yeah, I'll just buy my time until you f up and then I'll unload on you. Is quitting. They're retiring. They're giving up. They're throwing in the towel, right? And every time I start reading the responses to the, the retirement announcement or the quitting announcement, it's, oh, boo-hoo. Oh, this person, they work so hard. And they, you know. Phil, if you retired, don't you think your fans would do the exact same for you? Absolutely. The thing is that these people like these creators. So, of course, they're going to be sad if they get no new content forever out of them. Do you know how much Two Best Friends plays people are still just watching old videos, hoping that just one day they collab with something? Right here. Do you know how many people are still asking for John Tron back in Game Grumps? The and fans want what they want. And here's the thing about that. If John Rambo quit right after, while he was still in there, he would do this big segment of, oh, John, he was one of the best. He was one of the funniest. He'd do this segment that he's complaining about people doing it for other people. He would have made a whole video. Legit. Like, if they were still cool, and it was just like, all right, guys, I'm retired. I'm just like... One of my best friends of all time. One of the funniest people. He didn't get enough recognition. He'd be going all out for Rambo. So you saying that Lizzie Ellis got what? Like a million, two million subs on YouTube? Something like that. You telling me that mom can't be sad that she's walking away under these circumstances? Come they're on so now, Phil. What the f are you doing? And they, you know, they're so unfair how they were treated. And yada, yada, yada. And I read the nonsense and I'm like, are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> like, are you fucking shitting me? Them? They're, they were treated badly. Them. Them. Pause. Phil, you're getting bits and pieces from people on Twitter as you're just steaming mad thinking about all the stuff that you go through belittling these people for what they're going through. You can't do that. But he's doing exactly that. You You can't just compare. Oh. I had, I've been swatted. I've been doxxed. She got called a couple names on YouTube. Boo-hoo. You can't do that, Phil. Not everybody is the same as you. Not everybody is the same as the next person. And then what about the mom that that got swatted and got shot? When you when you when you complain about all oh, DDoX troll and Kiwi Farms, are are they allowed to be like, oh, you ain't going through? Sh he got. How shot. would you feel if mom if somebody belittled your experience enough that you quitting? Going, they got them them as you actively don't know. Because the one time. Somebody belittled his experience by going, my brother died, so Dude. we can, uh, but I still was able to, he was just like, you piece of sh you just As, a king of suffering. Oh my goodness. As he's complaining about, Leanna's gone, so I can't eat, I can't clean, uh, nothing. What am I to do? And I'm just like, my brother just passed, and I, I, I can't eat. It's a human function.
You do this when you're hungry. I understand you got your stream times and everything, but microwave of, of in microwavable pasta. Not even that. Prep some sh- because on your day off. Not even on your day off. On the day of, when you wake up, what time do you wake up? What time do you go to sleep? Do you mean to tell me you can't put some chicken in a Ziploc bag overnight in the fridge so it can thaw out and marinate, and then either fry it up with some rice throw or throw it in a, a, in a oven, George Foreman grill, something that could be cooked in uh, eleven to fifteen minutes, As and you, you will have a full away. meal. Muff can't put peanut butter and jelly on some bread. He's complaining that he's not getting gourmet meals cooked. Hand. All right, that's that's the thing that you lost. That no, that's a that's a free thing he lost. He still can have the time for that yeah. because Phil works uh six hours a day for six days. Essentially, he does not work a forty hour work week. Do you mean to tell me a muff working at home? Eight hours a day does not have the time to prep a meal and cook a meal. Prep the meal, make enough for two or three days. Some leftovers. And it doesn't even have to be a in a, a, a two hour slow roasting of a pot roast. Doesn't have to be that. But you could make do some that. spaghetti. But you could do that. Start your stream. By the and time you it. end it, it'll be ready. But you can make spaghetti, alfredo, all the Italian things. Some meatball, some chicken parm. All these things are sub one hour. During your break, what are you doing? Staring at the sky? (laughs) That's that's one of the worst things that Phil has ever done. No empathy. None. No sympathy. And now no empathy, no sympathy because me. I went through worse. I'm going through, I've gone through worse. Daily. Not knowing this person's experiences. Because you don't even know who they are. You're getting snippets of what they've gone through. Oh, this dude is whore. It's always just about him. Of course. Or money. (laughs) Popularity, rich, blah, 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 money. I'm sorry. You know, I'm probably the one guy who sits back. All right, and I see this crap happening, and I'm like, I have the one rare perspective out of all these other people who this happens. And by the way, this is, yes, obviously I'm saying this in regards to one thing that was virally popular yesterday on Twitter, but this is not in regards to just one particular person. I've seen this happen time and time again over the years. I'm, I have, a you know, all this popularity on YouTube... What does he mean he's the one guy with the one perspective? Because he, he just feels like it. he's been harassed more than almost anybody in the world. As far as content creators what go. What a horrible narcissist. Well, it's just always about him. I'm the one guy with the, with the one unique... unique... Pr- oh, yes, absolutely. You already know what it is, dude. I don't know why you think it's not just a way to turn it back on him and that he's stronger than these people. Oh, my. Just to prop himself up. And he's so so much of a coward that he's so. not naming names. He's not giving experiences nothing. What I've seen it so many coward. times. Well, a win. Who? Who? Nah, just people. I'm not trying to, you know, Oh, I'm anybody. throwing in the towel. Waves invisible towel. Puts on, hang takes it off, off. invisible hang it hat. Up. Hang it up. <laughs> this dude, I, I am, oh my goodness. <laughs> Giving up all of that. <clears throat> Why? Oh, because I said something stupid and I basically was like canceled. Right? I said something... Du- not not canceled. Harassed. Harassed. It's a whole different thing. It's a huge difference. Canceled thing. is when, um, like, I, I can't think of a person, but, like, if you say something, let's say three years ago, really bad, or, or something recent, really bad, and people like um, partnerships, catch wind of it, sponsorships, those type of things... And they start dropping you and you stop being able to make money 
based off of your own content and stuff. That's the type of thing that's canceled. When you're fired from a job for what you said, that's a quote unquote canceling. It's but really, it could it's just, just be public opinion turning on you from positive to negative. But I don't think that's uh, canceled because you could still, you're still roughly in the same realm of popularity. Like uh, LTG um, called a trans person a he or something. Or, no, no, no. What he said was, uh, if you don't get your penis cut off, you're still a guy. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he was banned from various tournaments. But then the very next stream was one of his most successful streams ever. And he's making as much or more money than he's ever made in his life. So, was he canceled? Because yeah. uh, Exactly. That's what but I'm saying. But he's I, still I would, making the same money. I would money. say uh, somebody like Pro Jarrett during the time before he came out with a statement with receipts. Mm -hmm. During that time, I'd say he was. Uh, sure, but he also didn't, um... Stream or do anything. Yeah, like he that. didn't do anything to, like, court public public opinion. He just sat on it, and then, like, that was it. So, I don't know if just the court of public opinion, because the court of public opinion uh, turned on someone like Dave Chappelle, but he's still doing as much or better than he's ever I'd done. I'd say it was more 50-50 on sure. that one. Sure, but I, I, I think... Before that, it could have been like 80% people that like Dave. So now 30% of people no longer are rocking with him. So that is a turning of public opinion. But Dave Chappelle is not quote unquote canceled. That's why I think just the uh, public opinion isn't. When you see a mar uh, marginal, not a marginal, but a notable markdown of your finances, lost opportunities, those type of things. You're quote unquote canceled. It's just like a TV show. Like um Family Guy is was canceled and then in syndication it kept making money, kept making money, so it was brought back. Um but there are TV shows that just are not shown anymore. Like Life and Times of Tim. That is a true cancellation. It is nowhere. You're not doing nothing with it. For years, I still think it's no, no, no. I, I, you know, I understand the perspective. Of, this is this isn't something that this we isn't the point of the video. <laughs> um, or I said something that that was that was unintelligent, or or maybe I didn't think it through, or I said it in a bad way, and I was canceled. So because of that, I can't handle it. I can't handle the pressure, man. I'm I'm giving up. Or the harassment feel. That was the issue. Um. So, um, I looked up, Lindsay very conveniently made a um, video about this whole thing months and months ago, talking yep. about what she went through, and this is what she, what she quit about, that's basically what, it's just bringing it back up, mm -hmm. and, um, what it was, was the whole Ryan the Last Dragon thing. Yep, I remember that tweet. And then um, what she did was they were just like, yeah, people just started uh, talking about me more and more and more. And then they uh, did, it was just like, yeah, this isn't super racist, but look at all this other stuff that she did. Compound it with this, with this riot thing, it means that she's a racist. And she went through, it was a big long thread about all the racist thing that she did. It was just like, hey, she did this in a video. She did this. She talked about this. This was a foreign thread. And she went through all of them, which is like, uh, no, not exactly. Explain this one. Straight up apologize for some of them. So it was a very good perspective about exactly what happened. And I'm glad I watched that video because I'm like, oh, man, this is, this is trash. <laughs> now or... Or in the case of some content creators, right? Let's be honest here. Take a look. Again, I know I bring them up all I the know. time. And this is actually not going to be a negative way this time around, but PewDiePie. This is a guy who, for many years, was seen as the prominent face of video game content creation. Whether or not he deserved that mantle or even wanted it, obviously is up for debate. Uh, I personally feel... Why do you even need to say that? Why do you need to talk about it? Why did that need to be said? It has nothing to do with what what your story is about him being canceled for saying the N word, Phil. This has yeah, nothing it's two to different do with things. that. Legitimately, two different things. Yeah, it's he just lost you. he lost opportunities and stuff, but he gained like thirty million subscribers since that time. Like, <laughs> but but him just going ah, even if he deserved it or even wanted it, that's just him being sour grapes about it. Oh, dude, about him just being like, no, he doesn't. Me, I'm the real. I inspired. 
I hate when he brings up that. He used, used to, to comment to watch on. Me and I hate that. What comments feel? They were all gone. I hate <laughs> it so much. And even if he did, so what? So what? He it could. How do? You, how does Phil feel about that? Look. That must eat him up. Oh inside. yeah, absolutely. If if Phil was making even a fifth of PewDiePie money. I think he would be happy for him. Absolutely. But, but since not he's a- so high and Phil is so low, he's just like, he used to watch me. He couldn't give me a shout out, nothing. I should be up there because I inspired. Oh, it must destroy it him. Hurt his very soul. Every day he wakes up just like, <laughs> just mother f- and PewDiePie. And now he's making fun of me. Oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> He was railroaded a lot of times to be the scapegoat for stuff. Um, although at the same time, yes, him acting irresponsibly absolutely did hurt a lot of gaming content creators in the big picture. Okay, you have that one. Ex- so you you know, have that one example. Opinion. But anyway, so. when he basically got thrown under the bus, okay, for saying the N word in his content. That is not thrown under the bus. The thrown under the bus is trying to place blame on somebody else. For something you potentially did, do or to try to uh escape some type of scrutiny or punishment mm-hmm. by pointing the finger at somebody else. He literally did this. Oh right, it wasn't like oh I accidentally said it, didn't mean to say it. I was saying something else. He literally was saying it as it was intended to be said, and people were like, "Why the fuck would you ever use that word? Are you out of your mind?" Um, Pause. And then all as Phil has actively said it two times within the past year. I wasn't trying to say oh, him. It. Him explain, excuse, and just trying to sweep the in the the, the stationary sorcery. one under the rug. He was just like I said, blah, 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 and that's exactly what it was. Just noise as he actively says it. No. And the worst part is if you go with the YouTube uh, captions and they just blank it out every time. Same thing with the source nigger. Every time. It is blanked that out is... when he says feels a... <laughs> every time. Because YouTube believes that's exactly what he said. And what about you going thumbs down, nit mother f- uh? Or what just in, the, in the Heavy Rain playthrough, he's just like, all right, it's time. What about that, Phil? What about when you just go, oh, he, he uh, Booker T called Hulk Hogan a... And you just say it when you didn't like need to say it. Like two or three times. What about that stuff, Phil? Or, or, oh, that was 10 years ago. Blah, blah, all this 10 years ago. Everything that he says bad that he ever did was exactly 10 years ago to the day. <laughs> I hate it. it. Be 80s. You know, the, me saying the N word, that was like 10 years ago. My heart. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he got canceled. What happened to PewDiePie? Well, all his YouTube shows got canceled. He had Scare PewDiePie, and he had other content that was in route. He had a contract with Disney. All that shit got canceled. They just <clears throat> done. Okay? So basically, he was had plans to be a big-ass, big-time producer of content. He was going to be involved in all this content. And because of the way he acted in that one video or that one stream... Literally ruined all of that for him. All got destroyed. And I, you know he's angry about it. Because like a year or two later, he was putting up posts and saying stuff in videos like, Release Scare PewDiePie. I filmed the whole Pause. season. And I keep... Why are you saying this like he's being so irrational? Oh, scare That's the voice that you use for somebody. It's, just, it's like using a redneck voice. This person is acting irrationally or stupidly. So let me put on a voice and flail my arms. When he just like released this, I made it, it's done, put it out. And guess what? What if somebody watched you getting in uh um released from Twitch and they and then they just turn it oh Phil was just sitting there just like we let me back on. I, I demand a, I demand an apology. I demand an apology. You can just use that voice and make somebody sound irrational and it's not doing anything for you, Phil. And you know what's funny? 
uh, Phil recently when he was doing this whole King of Hate being retired thing, he was just oh like, "Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut you shut the f- up! Oh my goodness! Who? Like it's some monumental thing. It was a dumb channel that you barely posted on with a terrible name that you didn't care about at all. Um, but when he was doing this whole retirement of the King of Hate thing." Um, in the video, he's like, you know, I used to say all types of things, racist stuff. And, you know, Twitch, they, they watched some of those from like 10 years ago. Yes, 10 years ago. Exactly 10 years to the day. 10 years. They watched some of those 10 years years ago and, you know, kicked me out of the partner program and banned me. But wasn't it just like eight months ago where he was just like, they give no evidence there's no reason for me to get kicked out. And to this, I think even like recently, he was just like, you know, when I got kicked out of the uh, Twitch partnership program for no reason, but mm-hmm. you just gave a reason, Phil. As so he that- has this secret backdoor contact that showed him all this evidence that he was kicked out for this reason. I feel. So do you know or do you not know? Were they right or were they wrong? Just do. Phil. It's terrible. So masterful. It's great content. And no one will ever see it. It's crazy. He got, you know, because now did PewDiePie get canceled? No. Because guess what? He continued to make content. But what did he do? He basically mixed it up. Instead of saying, I just want to do raw gameplay anymore. What did he do? He ended up veering out and doing daily news videos and commentary. You know a lot about PewDiePie because I did not know none of this. D- dude is keeping tabs on them no matter what he says like opie i got people watching for me that's t- no nah, you you in the channel because he knows in the back of his mind Front. PewDiePie is in the position that he is because of me because of my inspiration it's like that to the point where he basically had to diversify himself from just being the gaming content creator after that happened and he was able to still be successful i mean the guy let's be honest the guy was such a huge content creator, it didn't destroy him. But in some ways, it basically prevented him from doing what you could tell he had passion for doing. He was so upset that the shows that he was working on were canceled, and that was where he wanted to go. He didn't want to just be a dude yelling at video games all. Then can't he do that now? How how does he... How does he... Is he reaching into PewDiePie's mind and just like, this is exactly what PewDiePie was thinking and feeling yeah, in this moment? What, what gives you the indication that PewDiePie was more passionate about those TV shows than he was about his typical video game stuff? Because again, couldn't he just do a, a new version of those TV shows on his own dime and time? Okay. He wanted to actually do other content and he got canceled. Because of what he said in a video. But he does other content, like, immediately after. And you said that he didn't get canceled. What a smug face. What a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in that regard, this happens to many content creators where Pause. there's a scam. Booker T reference says hi. Oh. Why are you still in chat? <laughs> the Chiking. <laughs> Oh, wait, I think that's one of the money boys. Handle that breaks, okay? And they get canceled, and they throw in the towel, or they have to change up who they are or whatever. Um, you know, and I see it all the time. And again, this is not in particular. I don't actually know the situations to every single person. But to me, it's I, I just find it so ironic because I that I'm the people, guy. Oh, I have a million subs on YouTube. And every video I put out gets hundreds of thousands of views. So, by the way, as someone who used to get hundreds of thousands of views on his videos, all right, I can tell you it's big money. The ad revenue alone. Pause. All right. That was back 10 years ago. Exactly 10 years ago. When it was big money, Phil. You know this. Now CPM is something like $2 per thousand videos. Thousand views. Thousand. No thousand videos. You put up a thousand videos, you get $2. (laughs) Uh, you know, it, it fluctuates as yeah. always. Christmas time, you're going to get a little bit more right after Christmas. You're going to get a lot less because the spending dollars are down. But, but that's, that's basically what you're looking what for. What it is. Two to three dollars. So that's not exactly big money, Phil. So 300,000 views 
uh, two dollars a view. You're looking at what, like six thousand dollars. That's fine, but you gotta put into the. You gotta think about the work, the teams of people <laughs> that you always reference that they that gotta, gotta pay. pay. So unless you're putting out daily videos that's getting three hundred thousand views each video, you're not gonna be hitting it. You're getting hundreds of thousands of views on a video. The ad revenue alone on each video is tremendous. And then on top of that, when you're that large, you're getting sponsorship opportunities. You're getting all kinds of stuff on the back end. You're what is what is the the point of uh, a Raycon sponsorship for let's say seven thousand dollars for someone that does eight hundred thousand views? Doesn't it seem like because they can't do ads anymore. It's that one net. It's yeah, it's just one. one. Um, do you are you talking about in terms of for Raycon or for the actual uh, for the ad creator? revenue? Because the content creator, um, let's say they get seven, eight thousand through Raycon, but they get eight thousand, eight hundred thousand views per video every time. They're missing out on like three, four thousand dollars per video. Maybe, maybe Could there's a, maybe there's some type of thing in a plan, uh, where it's just like off rip, you get paid this and then for each thousand view or each hundred thousand view, you also, get, if you hit milestones, you but also is get it paid. that if you have Raycon, Raycon, you can't put ass on your video? Is that what it is? Uh, I think it says, uh, there's a paid promotion. And I think once you hit paid promotion, when you're trying to monetize, you can't monetize further on it. Really? I believe so. Don't quote me on this. Let me check. Because you can... Let me go incognito on the old... You, why do I have an alarm? What is it for? <laughs> what time is it for? It's for 9 o'clock. On the dot? Whatever that is. Uh, So, let's see. I don't think... No. Mr. Beast? I don't think he has. Sniper Wolf? <laughs> Great, great, fantastic. Thank you so much. I hate that I'm giving her money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know who it is. Uh, Sniper Wolf? Oh, she's terrible. She does nothing but look, look at, look. I'm going to show you I the thumbnails. To. I don't need to, bruh. Are those two faces the exact same? Oh, no. There's like seven of Are them. Are those two? No, they're not. They're like, uh. Are those two faces the exact same? Oh, that's some lazy stuff. Are those two faces the exact... I hate it. It's React it, it, stuff. And it's bad React stuff. What's good React stuff? Um, EFAP. Sure. They do EFAP movies, and that's very funny. There you go. Can I get somebody with a paid promotion, please? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. We, we, we could have just looked it up on YouTube or, or Google or something. Are you age-restricted? <laughs> <laughs> you are age-restricted. Really? Okay, pay promotion. No ads. Hmm. Huh. Pay promotion, no ads. Huh. Is that, is that, has it always been a thing? Huh. Well, maybe they maybe they have to go, look, here's my average CPM that I make per video. Mm -hmm. You got to at least pay me that. Maybe that's maybe that's the deal that they're getting. Like I said, uh, wow. it's got to be something. Well, we're, wow, we're, again, it's not how it works. I never, yeah, I guess double dipping is kind of. But, yeah. They would definitely have to make it worth their while. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I was like... It's in per uh, perpetuity. And they're, in two years from now, there's still going to be that Raycon yep. uh, ad on the video. But two years of videos, that's still making people money. Huh. I never knew that. All right. Well, there we go. We're getting tons of money. So this is not a situation where it's like, oh... I say something dumb once, and that's the end of it for me. These people, when you get to that level of popularity, you are insulated from being canceled. Not to say that being canceled can't. Thomas, do not necessarily. I mean, Scott Cawthon was beloved. 
He got he got DOS boot. It can happen. Uh, uh, uh pro Jared. Muff was beloved. Go uh, on. Several Smash players. Several. Um, was it was it was it Eagle Raptor when that crap came out and they were just like, oh, we got the boot to the butt. Let's just see some some hard evidence. Uh, no, it was somebody from Achievement Hunter or something. No, no, it was definitely somebody from Game Grump. Yeah, I think it was, it was one of them. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I, don't I think it was Ryan or something from Game Grump. Yeah, you're not you're not insulated. You can't. You can't come out in a in Nazi uniform and people go ah whatever. You can't do like that. The, what's the last Mel Gibson movie you've seen in theater? <laughs> <laughs> was was uh was Johnny Depp just kicked off a movie that is about to come out when it was proven that it went both ways? I mean, you're you're not protected from this stuff. Yeah. You're not protected from losing opportunities just because you make a lot of money or if, you're super famous. If people go, nah, you over. You and, done so. And, and, and then the advertisers and the people above just go, oh, the people are turning on you? That doesn't look good for us to keep you on. You out of here. I mean, could you say YouTube itself was canceled through all the apocalypse? Destroy your overwhelming popularity, but what would happen is you'd basically be downsized to the point where your hardcore fan base is what you have left, and then you have to rebuild from scratch if you really did something stupid, okay? Some of the things that I see people get canceled for these days, I don't even understand. I'm like, what? Like, this is the reason? Like, okay, the PewDiePie N-word thing, okay, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. But some things? of the shit. Crazy eyes. Right? Like, like what feel? Some of the shit that I see is like, like what? what? This is like the most innocuous bullshit. Like, like what? what is this? And people literally had nothing to do. They had, they're so. We have no lives. What so was it, Phil? Oh, this is gonna be the hot topic today. Pause. Is that it always comes back to no lives. What if it's just you offended me on a level that I do not agree with? Um, like call, like me, I'm I'm a black dude. I don't care if a white person says yeah, absolutely it not. But I can't stop the next black person from being offended for a white person saying it and work. Are they invalidated or no life people because they were offended by it? No. There was a dude uh, called call me call me Carson. And he was 19 years old texting with the sexing with a 17 year old. Mm -hmm. Now I can't be like, nah, be offended. Nah, don't be offended at that. Muffs are gonna have their own opinions about that based on their own ideology of yeah. what's appropriate, some what's people, not appropriate. Some people have a hard under 18 stance. Some people have a hard. It's two age. It's a two year age gap. Who the cares? In six months, would it make any type of difference? That type of thing. So it's not. It's not just about months having no lives. It's about yeah. I don't. I don't rock with this. I'm not about this life. That's that's and all. And they it take is. what three minutes out their day to read up on it and send a tweet. And now all of a sudden, yeah. that and was go, their entire right, day. I'm no. subscribing and I'm not watching this. There are again. one trillion percent people that are just out there Dog for 16 power. hours, 17 days. Just like, yo, don't forget. Yo, this is trash. Yeah. Yo, what about what you did? Yeah, there's absolutely people out there like that. But it's not just a bunch of people hopping on, just going, my day is ruined for this, and now this is the rest this of is my gonna day. Be all, this is going to be my whole week is just researching and flaming people. They this, see a trending topic, they click on it, they go, oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, that's they dang, tweet about what? it, and that's the end of it, for the most part, unless they get replies and stuff. But Phil just has this... Just this image of a troll in his mind where they're <laughs> all just... Because he'll just go, uh, oh, if you make this your entire life to hate on me, then you got a problem. It's like, who is doing that, Phil? Like, Piece of Peace has a real job. Like, he's yeah. in, in a big field. And he comes home and he'll watch uh, Phil for three hours a day. Is his, it, does he have no life for that? Or is his hobby to watch you, Phil? And just talk about you. That's fine, Phil. To document your spending habits. Now, there are people that will go a little bit too long. No, not a even a little bit. 
way too far and way Absolutely. winks people. Holy. But those are the fringe people. Out of two, three hundred people, there's one or two of them people. Other people are just like us. We just go, hey, look at this stupid dude with this stupid hairline. <laughs> we'll, we'll go into the in hair thread. <laughs> just be like, oh my God, he's losing so much hair. And that's just it for the day. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not posting on Kiwi Farms or nothing. I'm not, I'm not trying to crack his bank accounts or nothing. I'm just laughing at you, Phil. This is not my life. I don't wake up thinking about you, go to sleep thinking about you. If I need something to listen to, I'm like, yeah, let me throw on some Phil stuff. But I'm not great like great content. Absolutely. It's evergreen. <laughs> but I'm not sitting there just going, dang, I wonder like how how much how much food does does Jasper eat per week and how much does it cost? Is Phil ordering DoorDash right now? I don't think about that. I stuff, don't care Phil. about that. This when I do care about it, I care about it a lot. But the second I stop caring about it, you're not on my mind. Like when the bank documents happen, I was just like, what the f is this? I spent a couple hours on Kiwi Oh, Farm. absolutely. How we did had, you we not? We had our conversation. That's a, big, that's a big development. But then after that, it's just like, okay, whatever. It's done. The, it's just this huge, just over there, everybody spending their lives, no live people, when Muffs can send a single tweet and be done with it. Talk to a friend, dang, that sucks, and move on. See, Phil thinks there's only two levels. You got a life, so you're not talking about it. You have no life, so you're talking about it. When there's multiple levels to this, I'd say something quickly, I'm saying some stuff moderately, it's so on and so forth. Is that pure you're with me or against me mentality? And that's what Phil's fan base is predicated on. It's just like us versus them. Them are the trolls, the bullies, the people that knock us down and keep us down. And us are the people that are just fighting and trying every day, scratching to make a better life and a life for our oh. family. Thumb door. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said something that we don't agree with, and we're going to twist it into something that maybe isn't even what was originally intended when they said... What is your example, Phil? And what about the people that aren't twisting it? What about the people with receipts going in? Yo, this mom is texting minors. How y'all feel about that? Uh, let me just twist this into it was poor, starving South African children. I'll just twist... No! But again... No evidence, no. no examples, nothing. So he can just say whatever, and the audience just goes, yeah, that. I remember that. There's a story, and this dude, this is a cancellation if y'all ever want to know. There was a Brazilian uh, fighting game player for that played for Street Fighter. He was on stream telling the story about how either his friend's girl or his ex-girl was cheating. And he said, okay, we're going to fix this. He got her super drunk. Called eight dudes and they all had their way with her. He is he is banned from every tournament Absolutely. in his in country. He is that. banned from every Capcom event. He is banned from multiple U.S. events. And Capcom put out a statement that was basically, we're doing all we can by banning him, but hopefully local authorities get involved with this. That is a cancellation. He is done so in the space of that. Content creation, his Twitch channel was up and removed. He is done so with content creation. He is done so with fighting, being a pro fighting game player. But in Phil's mind, it's just like, well, how are people twisting this? How are you twisting it? You're still talking about this? He's already been dripping. No. But let's go ahead and, you know, twist it into something so toxic and stupid. That people will hate on this person. What are you talking about, Phil? Please say what you so are talking toxic about. toxic and stupid that people will hate on. Let's just twist this 
It's just something so toxic and stupid people hate him. It feels like he's just putting it in people's minds so when he brings up his, he could just Oh, go, absolutely. You see how they twist it? You know, that's it. exactly what he keeps doing. He'll be like, oh, people are bringing up conspiracy theories like I'm ordering DoorDash every in second day. It's just like the people going the COVID vaccine will make you grow a third arm. He's implanted in your mind. Yes, these people are nuts and so these people are all also nuts by the connection of conspiracy theory. He keeps doing this and he thinks he's getting away with it. <laughs> and, and by the way, how many times has that happened to me over the years? Jeez! Oh my goodness! Gives no examples, boomerangs it directly back to me. You knew what was coming. We knew what was coming. We caught the it, it was just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. Not a not an if, but a win. Because he always needs to make it exactly about himself. He doesn't watch YouTubers. He's not involved in dramas. But he's seen all this stuff happen again and again. He's seen and the YouTube channels. He's seen all the drama. With people twisting things. So he had to both know exactly what the situation was. And know exactly how people are twisting it to make it look worse. But also me. <laughs> But also, let's, let's not forget where we started. Yeah, it happened to them just like it happened to me. Like, he wants to talk about a topic, and the topic <laughs> itself is 120. And then him talking about him is eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a 10-minute video, Phil. What happened? And he just, mom, just goes, I've seen it happen. I've seen people do this. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. Gives nothing. Like me. But PewDiePie and the N-word. And that's it. And then he boomerangs directly to him. And now he's going to bring up the escort thing, which he was can't. provably false. He can't. But he, muff, Who he had nothing it? to do with Who it. Who proved it? That was passively solved through his eyes. It was just like, oh, see, it's done. More evidence came out. And now y'all see how stupid they were. Yeah, more evidence from them. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even count anymore. Like, on a daily basis, what I say on this very stream gets twisted into something that it's not. I didn't say. I didn't. Pause. I'm, twisted. Stuff that he didn't say. Muff. I, I don't know. Do you, think, do you think that people are taking your in word and editing them together to be like, oh, he's saying these things? Snor Burnell does that to be a joke in a joking manner. That's what he does. Or I believe it's a she. It is a she. That's what she does. That, but that's purely a joke. Nobody has edited clips together to be like, yeah, I scammed all y'all muffs. Screw you. Ha, ha, ha. Nobody's doing that. And the people that would do that, nobody would believe them. But people like um, Aqua Teal and, and Hate Army and a couple other people, they just wholesale put up your clips. And, they, and it's just like, listen to what feel this stupid crap that Phil is saying. Hate Army put out like three videos today. I'm and like, oh my goodness. And, and this was this was the freaking um this was the stream the live stream that I choose to not watch. And I'm like, I should have watched that. Because I watched <laughs> yesterday. I'm like, oh there was some stuff that happened, but it wasn't too much. Uh wants to ban fun emojis, randomly trashes Nintendo for 10 minutes, has nothing to talk about. Which you didn't have anything to talk about. But again, this is just a title. Now you watch the video. And, and it's, it's exactly what it was. Yes. And they could go to your stream or your uh, or your VOD or whatever and see that it was exactly the clip. The same clip yes. they posted. Nothing taken out. Nothing added. Obviously intent, but people do it every day to try to cancel Phil, right? Well, over the years that, I, that I've done this, I would say that there's there were quite a few times where people tried to cancel Phil. The early I, I, I wish you would stop doing that. All right, do you but want him to do can't. that or the point? You know what the answer <laughs> is. This time was 2010 when I was on Blip TV, and I ten made years ago very inappropriate, very hurtful, toxic Nazi jokes. I never should have done it. To this day now, I regret it. 
it was funny because back then I was such a, a pig-headed, stubborn asshole. I was such a different person over 10 years ago that I thought that I did nothing wrong. Oh, Howard Stern. Pause. Man. Phil, you were 26, 27. You said that you had friends of all nationalities and creeds and stuff like that. You don't see how that could be hurtful? And no, he was an uh, uh, equal, equal opportunity, opportunity racist. But the I make worst fun part of everybody. It wasn't even funny. It wasn't even funny. The whole joke was, I am a Nox Nazi. And the, they are Jewish, are Jewish people. That is the joke. The connecting thread is Holocaust. That's not even funny, Phil. Again, we said it before. You can't just walk in a room, <laughs> say the N-word, and walk out, and that just be the joke. That's not, that's not how it works. And that's all that was. See, that's a lot of problem with people that like edgy comedy. They believe that edge itself is funny. And so when they try to make a joke... All they're doing is going edgy thing, yes. and that's the comedy. When the comedy is supposed to be derived from the edgy material, uh, like uh, in uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, they the recent uh, season, a whole plot line about COVID. Fantastic, fantastic. Brian Regan, one of the funniest moms on the planet. He don't even swear. It's all just dumb stuff that he does. You don't need that. And the people that lean too heavily on it, I mean, they, I, I, their career can't be too long. Yeah, because eventually it gets tiresome. Yeah. Very similar jokes on his show, his radio show, and he didn't Pause. get in trouble. And, and this whole comparing himself, Howard Stern did it. That is not, that is never a good enough excuse of just, well, they did it, so I can do it, right? Jackass did it. So what's the problem? They're over there and they're making millions of dollars. And and nobody's, they're not in trouble. Nobody's finger quote canceling them. So why can't I do it? Why can't I do exactly the same same thing as everybody else is doing? Maybe because you're not on the same level. Maybe because you don't have that inbuilt inbuilt years and years of being a shock jock and people expecting this of you. See, that's the thing I think is lost on a lot of people. Because I'll see so many memes where it's just like, who could believe that a generation that grew up on South Park and Family Guy could be so soft? You expect certain things from certain people in certain shows. I expect It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia to do raci racist, sexist, uh, Nazi stuff. I expect that of them. Misogynist. I expect it. And it's hilarious. But if I was watching Blue's Clues and Steve blurted out the N-word, I'd be like, uh, oh, this no. Isn't, this, isn't. this isn't where this is supposed to be. Now, part of the problem with content creators doing these types of edgy things is <clears throat> there is a clear defined line of who Charlie Day is and who Charlie Kelly is. But is there a difference between Felix and PewDiePie? Are you who you're portraying on the screen or is this just a character? And if you say it's just a character, who are you behind the scenes and not being this character? And and it, the line is too blurred. So I think a lot of people find fault in that. Um, no, this is just a character, me saying the N-word. Yeah. No, I think it's just you wanting to say the N-word and trying to find a way to do so for it why should i get into trouble for it for making this kind of content on on the internet right now i look back at that and i'm embarrassed at myself i'm like man i was a fucking moron over 10 years ago dude we've done some very terrible things in the podcast some of it is funny i'm Absolutely. sorry some of it is very much not you can't just go i'm embarrassed at it's more like a cringing at it. Just like, ooh, wish I wouldn't have said that. But I don't feel full-on embarrassment by the things. Regret, if anything. I was a complete idiot, an asshole. I shouldn't have said and done that you stuff. Still I should are. have known better. I should be more respectful to people, right? Not everything should be... You call people brain-dead idiots every day! Constantly. Mentally ill. Mother all this stuff. Mother... Like, Phil, this is on easy mode. You idiot! What are you talking about? This game is not on easy mode. Oh, Shit. it is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yeah, When did that happen? And the chat exploded just like, 
Where's his apology? Never. What are you doing? Never. You can say that homeboy was right, can't you? No acknowledgement. So close, so quick to say you're wrong, but not that you're right. Not to apologize. Dude, that was horrible. It was horrible. Dude. I'm like, Phil, you can't even check before you. Because he's just going, yeah, I, no, no, I got the boxing style, and the boxing style is the best style in the it game. It just makes that's it why. easy. That's all. I don't have easy mode. When, when, when could it ever be on? It, 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 no, it's not. An idiot's talking about easy mode. Oh, Phil's doing good at the game, so it must be on easy mode. Check. Oh, it was on oh. easy mode. When did that happen? <laughs> Moving on. Well, it's still kind of easy. I put it on hard to make it to make it fair to make up for it. Unbelievable. You know what I think happened when I was doing my stealth mission? It asked if I wanted it on easy, and I must have clicked it. Legit, it's the easiest thing in the world. Like, oh, dang, I fucked up. You right. Easy. thing. But Phil can't, because the same playthrough, he's he's going through, and he hits continue, and there's three saves. And he picks the earlier save, and it overwrites the later save, and he goes, the checkpoint system is wrong. It messed up. It glitched. It erased my earlier save. Oh, my God, guys. Like, it's the game for I hit continue. You would think it would continue from the latest save. You highlighted yeah. all three saves. Maybe if you weren't such a nudge and had 17 saves per game, just so you could go back four hours potentially for some reason, your saves come in bush, you'd be good. Be the butt of a fucking joke. And I know that now, right? But back then, I was an idiot. Back then, everything was um. different. Back then, the inner... But, Phil, you're constantly crying about you can't do what you used to do. Yes. So were you How an idiot that... People were talking about snowflakes and people in their safe spaces and stuff like that. If you had the ability to do those types of jokes with no repercussions... Would you be doing them? I think and he I would. submit, yes. Because he goes, I purposely make my stuff non sexual and all this stuff. It w if there was no ill effects, no lost ad revenue, no lost sponsorship, them nothing. limiters would be off, unleashed, punished Phil. <laughs> Just going for it. Just ripping off the patch on his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the sexual stuff, because he's got a wife. Thumb he is to hard to... against that. And it makes... Dude, how did she whip him into such shape? He don't want to lose her, because he knows that that's it. It's over. You know what? That's fair. But I feel like Phil makes enough money to... <laughs> don't make that face at me. It don't matter what you make, and it's matter what you got. And if and if he goes just this past week, he just goes, oh, we couldn't even go out because we broke. We broke. But you're boys. not. You ordered two meals that same day. With during that, let's say to combine thirty each one, sixty dollars. You ain't got enough. Well, you can't go out for sixty dollars. And he went grocery shopping. And you went grocery shopping, which we know factually is about five hundred dollars. <laughs> Unbelievably so. <laughs> What a, just a liar. A liar, a scummy per. I don't know what the f is going on with this dude. And Anybody it, else in Phil's position could either invest so he can grow his money or he could be frivolous and be blinged out and have f and women out the wazoo yeah. with this. Just be flashy as a, as a muff. Put everything on credit and just be like, I'll pay it back later, whatever. Who cares? I got 500k rolling in this week. I mean, this uh, year. So but he can't even do that because he ain't got no credit. But another thing about the whole girlfriend and being whipped and not doing the sexual stuff. You see that whole rant where he's calling us virgins and stuff. Mm, I, I no no no. I saw it pop up on my feed and I think I watched like 20 seconds of it and it never popped up again. So I never went back. It's horrible. Oh no, it is. I'm like Phil. Because this going back to the whole virtual wives and, and finding women attractive and, and virtual stuff. women attractive. When you can go back factually to his old muffs and walk through, walkthroughs of his of his apartment and complex and stuff like that. And he's going, yeah, black cat, hubba hubba, look at them tits. 
What about then, Phil, when you were 28, 29? Oh, I just changed. Ten years ago. Oh, this ten years ago bastard. Internet was the Wild West. No one really cared about what people said and did. Everything was a joke. There really was no cancel culture, which is what's weird is back in 2010, I got canceled. I did. I got kicked off of Blip TV. Within being there a month and a half, Blip said, you're out of here. We're kicking you out of our business. Go. You're done. All right? And I was pissed. Rightfully so. They were actually in talks with me at the time to make Boss. me one. I was the number two guy. Oh, no. I, it was Nostalgia Critic, me, and then like Angry Joe. And I, I was there and I was in talks to be even bigger. I could have been bigger than Nostalgia Critic. But they took that away because they listened to idiots. One of the biggest prominent content creators on their business. I was top three. The top three content creators on Blip at the time was Nostalgia Critic, Angry Joe, and me. We were the top three. And I was only there for a month. And I was top three. Okay? So they were actually setting up meetings. I was supposed to have a, a tele, telephone meeting with them with upper management to talk about the future, how they were going to promote my content, how we were going to work as a partnership to try to grow Blip. And then they, they canceled me and kicked me off the site. Okay? Pause. Interact. But Phil, you already said that you were wrong to say that. But it was a that stupid little thing. And that little hand nod, like, interesting. It's not interesting. You did a bad thing. You admitted that you did a bad thing. And you're like, and you well, why did I get punished for that? I admitted it 10 years later on the dot, on the day. I admitted it. So why why did I get punished? You know why you got punished, Phil. You deserved it. You said you deserved it. Don't act like Blip was in the wrong for this. See, that's the thing. He's just saying that I've grown up. I, I feel ashamed about he that. Doesn't. But he he's just like, yeah, they just kicked me off. They canceled me. No, what Phil has is a thicker mask. He always wore a little bit of a mask. Uh, I'm bigging myself up, blah, 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 to hide the f and frail piece of he is. But now he's just got this thicker PC <laughs> mask where it's just like, I want to say these things. I want to do these things. And every now and then you get a crack. And it's just like, uh, the Chicky Chang Wang or some sh but he wants but to be wants doing that. It'll it'll open up a lot more talking because it's just a lot of silence when he could because be talking. Because he's thinking about what he needs to say. Because the just first thing that comes to his mind is, is a bad thing. So he's just like, nope, not that thing. Like, oh, she's black. Hide your purse. And, I, and, I wasn't saying it because she was black. I was saying she because she's near me. And that's exactly why he doesn't want to get drunk on stream. Oh, yeah. Because he knows that that filter's gone. That the thinking about, oh, Even no, that I got to restructure that. That damn down a little bit is it's a flood. Over. When he goes, yeah, I want to go to YouTube and watch some F word. It's, it's like, Phil! If saw some homo, it's just like, whoa. That was like six years ago. Phil, what the f is this? And he just goes, oh, I didn't mean it like that. I was just impersonating somebody saying that. Yeah, that'll cover me. That'll get him. <laughs> that'll like protect that's okay. Me. Making up some imaginary person to say whatever you want. That's not how this works, Phil. She came out of your mouth. Okay. Interesting, right? He drinks those fizzy flavored water. Yeah, absolutely. This man, this man. What is wrong with a regular water? No. I got a in two gallon water here. It's almost gone. I need to refill it today. Ooh. The man, man needs flavor. He chugging uh, kickstarts. Like it was like, in water. Like it was nothing. Like he had a bottle of air. Like, it was the only thing that would keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, clunk. Some people, they can't really break out of that stuff. 
Because Eric was just like, hey, uh, when he's doing his fast and stuff, he's like, hey, can I drink like a Diet Coke? I'm like, Eric, no. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> you, you but it has no carbs, no That's fats, not the no point. calories. It's like, no, Eric, <laughs> you need to get out of this mindset. Water. And that'll help you in the long run. All right. <laughs> and he did it. He did it. He did He, he did what he could. Yeah, oh, dude, he did tremendously. Oh, Nine days. That's exactly what I said. I'm like, because he called me. He's just like, man, I think I'm done. Because I'm like, I, I want food. I'm feeling kind of puky. I was like, Eric, I can show you the fasting Reddit where muffs are just like, I can't even do two days. <laughs> you raw just did this. Out of While nowhere. working. While working. This is something to be accomplished for your first time. Try it again next time. But now time. you know you can do it. Yep. Five day fast. Add a day next time. Add a day next and you'll get there easily. It's it's it is it's just incremental stuff. It's a it's not a um a racist marathon. But but Shonen you, creators. <laughs> and they don't seem to understand that. But you need to get out of that mindset of now I understand it's very difficult. There are times mm-hmm. where I'm like I'm eating, especially where I'm just like in water. <laughs> Yeah, because you want that sugary yeah, thing to accomplish it, I mean, to accompany it. But you need to get out of that mindset. And Phil just, he's just not. He's just going, I just need, I need my, my, uh, because he, he did the Mio for a while. Mm-hmm. He did um uh, Juicy, not Juicy, V8, V8 Energies for a while where he was like, what is, it, it doesn't what is have a whole lot of sugar. It's got natural stuff. What he is this, all this energy stuff. he needs? Cause his his dreams are so dour and down. What is this? And he where, must, where is it? He has to be sleeping like four hours a day. I don't understand it, but he is an older gentleman. Even then, no, cause he was doing them kickstarts like he ten was. years ago. <laughs> ten years ago, exactly. No, but he also drank water for a while because he had the bottle crunch. Yep. Sure did. And maybe that was maybe that was when Cat was just like, "You getting a little round in the middle? Let's uh, let's drink some water." And now that they're door dashing every other day, it's just like, like I don't care. And and then I understand they're a dollar a piece, but you drinking that every day six times a week? Come on now, Phil. It's- One per stream, two a stream. He might be doing twelve a week. And this is only what we see on stream. Not even to talk about whatever you're drinking with your food, all that extra, all that soda and stuff. Just drink water, Phil. It's so easy. See, there was a, uh, it was so odd when uh, dad was like, you know, I just kind of like the taste of water. And I I understand it now because I really just Mm -hmm. do like the ink taste of water. So I could drink a ton of water. Yeah. I don't know what Phil is doing. Because he's probably thinking it's still just water. Yeah. Look, it's zero flavored calories. Water. It's a bit fizzy so I can get the soda feel without all the sugar and stuff. But that's 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 just... You're that's drinking like, carbonation every day. Nothing but... Almost nothing but... You're, you're switching from cigarettes to vaping. Yeah, it's a little better. But it, it doesn't it's still change very the problem. Bad. You went from a hundred bad to a ninety bad. The okay. problem's still there. You're still doing the things that will make you want to do the things more. Because it's, eventually it's gonna be like this ain't enough. Crack open a coke, and then you just right back to your v, your your <laughs> Mountain Dew kickstarts daily, multiple daily, multiple daily. Because he just needs that energy plus a coffee apparently. So coffee, seltzer water, and probably some type of energy drink. What are you doing? How can this be a man that does nothing but sit down and play video games? And Damn. it's not even like it's not even like a competitive video game player, like a Twitch um, shooter, like a Call of Duty or a Fortnite, where you got to be up and just. Moving. And it's not even a marathon where you're doing ten, twelve hours. It's four hours and then two hours. With a break in between. And sometimes five to ten minute breaks for the bathroom. Mother will come sit down for six minutes and go, all right, quick break, guys. It's not even a break. I just need like 40 seconds to go to the bathroom. What were you doing? Plus like a 30, 40 minute break in between to eat. and Again, Phil works six hours a day. No, no, no. 
I think it's five. How long is his first stream? It's four hours. His first stream is four hours plus the pre-stream. So it might be seven. That's that's nothing. 42 hours a week, Pierre. And you work from home. You set your own schedule. Where is it? Where is your free time and what are where, you doing? Where does it, it go? What does it do? Prep your food. Stop throwing away mountains of food because it's not the freshest thing possible. Yeah, first stream. Oh, crap. Is it? Is it four hours? Oh, crap. It is. Because... Look, he's got the three GTA streams. He's got the three Resident Evil streams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then with the pre-stream, that's four hours. Yep. And then his second stream is two hours. So it's about six hours. Oh, that's pathetic. And he's acting like he's holding up the Need earth. Needs energy for it. Needs just constant energy for this. You'll get more energy from the water because your water your brain is now expecting the sugar and it and you it shuts time, down because it needs it. You just need more and more to keep that high, and that's that's a problem. That's that's that addiction. But nah, just the flavor. I need, <laughs> it. I need to sip it, smack twice, and burp directly into the mic and, and pat my chest like a gorilla. Like, Sorry, I, guys. I have never seen a single other person in my life do that. Not a child, not a baby, not an old person, not an adult, not a teenager. Nobody ever do that in my life. Why feel? He's Why now? Back to eight. <laughs> He's never done this. That means nothing to feel. All it takes is one. What does it do? Uh, adds a little bit of... Because it's the stuff he wants to be doing. Pee, pee, poo, poo, burp, and fart jokes. So it's a little bit of, of goodness he gets. But he's acting like it's just stuck in his throat. And he's going to suffocate if he don't beat it out of him like a baby. Honestly, when's the last time you burped? It's been a while. Because I was just thinking about this. Even if you drink a lot of carbonation like Phil, he burps quite a bit. Yes. It's got to just be him forcing it out. Yeah, absolutely. And even still, he could do one of them silent burps. You, just, you know, it, it sort of fills your mouth and you cover it up. And it, oh, I feel it coming, guys. Try to turn your head. Well, you just go. No, I can't stop burping in the mic. Shut up, band, idiot, troll, brain dead, mentally ill, taps temple. Cat, cat next to him, no snorting, no burping. Nothing. Perfect gentleman. Perfect diction. Not not messing up a single word. This muff basically got a top hat on. <laughs> it was disgusting. He putting on such airs for this such bitch. Such airs. I couldn't stand it. I'm like, you so fake. Nothing. So that was the first time. Um, the second time I got canceled was when I played the Middle Gear Solid games and I basically crapped on Hideo Kojima constantly as a running joke. It wasn't meant to be serious, but there are pause. So what about the people that are crapping on you as a joke, not meant to be serious? Oh, they're just stupid and mentally ill, huh? No, no lives. What about people who are cracking on you for your hairline, for your patchy beard? As a joke. Nah, that's not a joke. For some reason, that's not a joke. This dude. Dude, you have said Kojima so fervently, so angrily. Yes. That you can't just write it off as, oh, I was just joking. It was not a joke, Phil. Please do not frame it as such. Do you, yeah, of course he thinks his uh, audience is dumb enough to believe it. Absolutely. Rewriting history every time. Let's, so wait a second. Shook. Let's let's see what he made on his first stream so we can see how stupid they are. Oh, somebody recommended a video. What is this video? Oh, it's probably Paul with that uh, piece of... Sh the persona... Yeah. ...is, in fact, really bad. Okay, then. Bye. Um... That's a very good question. Doesn't have too many views. It's from Afterglow, as a matter of fact. Uh, Lobster Hero. 
It's for even one year, even one years ago. Yep, that is how time is told. Um, oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That was that one. So, um, insane. Yeah. So, what, no, what I was doing. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no. That was my phone. My phone hit the space bar. Hundred fifty-two dollars. Pikachu hat, vest, and glasses. Pikachu hat. Pikachu hat, vest, and glasses. Uh, from from here, from there to here, he gained four members. <laughs> Memberships aren't popping like he hopes they are. Because he's just like, I got a plan. I want 200000 by my birthday. I want to go up and up in memberships. I want to get... He said he wants to get back to what they were doing on Twitch. Muff want 900 members. He will get it. And he will get it. Once they get them, gifted. The second them Because them is- bastards will make sock accounts and just give it to the sock accounts. After his chat of 300 people are filled up. They're just going to be sock accounts. How are you going to have 200K subscribers, 900 members, and then 200 people on a stream? <laughs> he's going to do it. <laughs> and he's going to be happy because that number point point is going to go up. <laughs> Number go up is all he cares about. Muff can have five people and three hundred dollars. And guys, he, the tip is go point to the tips go. As you can see, point. It's not looking good. And it's not just the point. It's the it's the looking at the screen to make. Why sure is he always looking at the screen? To make sure he's he's pointing exactly where he needs to be because he needs to point at the members, not to the super chats. Because if he pointed to super chat, people will get confused. They might super chat, and that doesn't yeah. help me right now. Bills are due today. <laughs> How does Phil get a fat bag in fourteen days? And he's like, I need help. Now more, more though. I'll never understand this guy. But there are people out there that are such insane, obsessed fans of Hideo Kojima. They took me as being serious. Dude, oh, you were being serious. You, Do not, not lie. Not only dude. were you being serious, but you were doing horribly at the game. You're Terribly. leaving that part out. It's you weren't not- paying attention to the game. You were cracking on everything. You were making fun of Kojima and the writing and the voice acting and all this stuff. And you sucked. Let's not forget about that. It wasn't just three hours of you cracking on Kojima. It was you failing constantly, Phil. What about that? How do you excuse that? You no, know, he did try to retcon this. No, I did it on purpose. As a joke. Because he can't look any level of bad unless he allows himself to look bad i was dumb and an a-hole back then this dude i can't believe and basically tried to cancel me by making every single game i played uh this is how you don't play monta how does that cancel you feel what way does that cancel you so people watch that then what how do they cancel you because of that yo you really bad at games Enter comment. What what cancellation is there for that? He, yeah. He really just needs to play the victim. No matter. No, he is he the victim. He is the. There's no playing. I am the victim. Forgot he said that. Watch video, and at that point, it became virally popular. Why is everything virally popular and exploding with popularity? Is there any other descriptor for popularity that he's used? I don't think so. Extremely popular? No. He's he's got limited vocabulary. It's such a limited no, vocabulary. No, it's, again, it's just videos doing videos doing nothing. Videos doing all right or virally popular. It's just like trolls versus not trolls. You can't just be somebody that makes fun of them. You gotta be an obsessed no life loser. You can't just have a video that does a hundred thousand and you happy about it. It's gotta be virally popular. He was talking about virally popular when um his his home front video had like two hundred thousand. This dude, he he just thinks that big numbers equal virally popular. 
to not watch Phil's content and laugh. What was that? To not watch Lasso Phil's content. Watch his right finger, please. Played a this is how you don't play montage video. And at that point, it became virally popular to not watch Phil's content and laugh at him and enjoy Pause. it. Pause. Are you telling me you don't summon videos to watch by twirling your hand in a clockwise or counterclockwise Vid-guardian motion? Videos. <laughs> this is what you do. You just go, oh, man, I want to watch some YouTube videos. Swoop. You start a Millie Rock. <laughs> and a video just pops Oh, up. my goodness. He doesn't need to be on camera. <laughs> Constantly. But you steal Phil's content. Make it. Still, you gave permission yes, to them, did. Phil. I don't care what you do, as long as it's not just taking Raw my content uploading. and re uploading it. That's all I really care about. This is what you said. You can't just retcon to be like, these mobs is stealing. You gave permission. And even still, guess what, dude? Fair use. Fair use. So they can they can edit it together. They're doing stuff. Edited montage of him sucking at games and being as toxic as possible. Pause. To- and then you accepted people and used the name This Is How You Don't Play. Several times. To garner views. You did for a live stream. This Call is how this you don't play. Stream this uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, you accepted a This Is How You Don't Play for KO gaming montages uh, for Dark Souls or something. So they're doing morally reprehensible stuff, but also let me do it. You talking about mobs selling crack on the side of the corner, and you just go, yo, I'm trying to sell weed. Like you... Meth. Dude, you don't understand what's going on here. Because Phil is doing it. And what Phil does is always right, no matter how he, you the mob that's twisting it. You got to twist everything to make yourself seem like you the best at every single possible situation. Every possible moment. Phil, to get popular for yourself, you see? So there's different things. Oh, listen. I made a montage of a content creator. I didn't get the permission to do it, but it's free advertising for the content creator. Fine. But when people, like literally thousands of people, stop watching that content creator to watch your toxic stuff you stole and they don't benefit from it, that's theft. So it's fine if the montage got a thousand views while you got 10,000 views. But if suddenly it becomes 10,000 views versus 1,000 views, it's theft. Do you have any evidence of your viewership going down around the time of the height of the popularity of this is how you don't play field? Of course you don't. You're just you're just sending whatever parameters that you can and make me like, yo, this is Steph now for some reason. Because I'm not making money. Because it, it, it hurt me. Number go down. Number go down while their number go up. Now, if their number go up cause my number go up, then go up. Then then it's fine. That's not theft at all. That's but advertisement. Phil, you don't think... Because this is how you don't play. The good ones are... They're only the good stuff. They're the stuff where yeah. you're raging, where you're failing, where you're at least talking. There are long stretches of time where you don't say anything. I'll watch Phil. a restream and I'll just be like, I can't do it. I basically can only watch when Piece of Pieces is restreaming now. Because if it's just like a raw DSP or even Dark Dave Mirror where they're playing clips There's and stuff, nothing there. You're not, you're not engaging. You're not entertaining. You talk to the chat. You'll muh every now and again. Uh, This tipped me. No, because you see pause game. What happened was three minute explanation. See what I'm saying? Unpause game. And that's not entertaining, Phil. That's simply not. In, a, as a whole. Mm. In clip form, give me that shit. Absolutely. But just doing that, I'm not watching that. I'm sorry. To me, is I was seeing people who used to enjoy my content leave and go to toxic circles of people. Pause. Are you keeping tabs on people? Are you having other people keep tabs on people? Or did those people come back and be like, yo, I'm back from the dark side? On top of that, um, 
if people leave your content to go consume other content, that just means your content isn't good enough. Yes, you need to ask yourself, yo, what am I not doing that they are ask doing? Ask them! What can I do to make it so that you watch this instead of that? But no, Taps Temple, Mentally Ill, they betray me. What's funny is Phil could go to the copyright section of his YouTube and it'll show videos that match your thing and you can ask them to take it down or you can uh, monetize it yourself. He could do a lot of things and just steal an F and money. I wonder if he does. Because a lot of people do say I don't put ads on there, but there do ad be ads on it. I wonder. Hmm. Creators who literally all they did was toxic negative junk on YouTube. Uh, So they created a montage of you failing. So that's not a negative and toxic. When a lot of the stuff, fail stuff is part of the fun of it. Jackass is predicated on people yep. failing. Is it negative and toxic? No, it's just negative talk because it's Phil. So when you do the year in worst games, that's negative and toxic, but it's okay. When you call people brain dead idiots and talk about the game devs and how much the game sucks, that's okay. I just watched his Mario Tennis and he is insulting the game devs up, up the butt. It's crazy. You said you would never buy another game by the people that made uh, one of the Need for Speed games. You said if they develop it, you will not buy it. That's not negative and talking. So that's fine content. Apparently. You know, they were becoming popular on my behalf. They were stealing my shit. Pause. And You're becoming popular based on other people's games, Phil. Do you not see... No, but I'm I'm adding my my commentary and stuff. They're cutting together your stuff. They're they're adding they're, clips of you. They're adding clips from other things. Comments and stuff like that. You telling me that a movie critic can't get popular because they're using other people's stuff as well? You and a movie critic are basically the same thing. Phil. You watch the nostalgia critic, Phil. He he's always in the right. All he did was tear down works for the most part. You watch thing, uh... Angry Video Game Nerd. Yes. All he did was yell at the screen. This is trash. This but sucks. Phil this sucks my is ass. doing it right. And that's all that matters to him. And I don't understand how he can have this mindset of no matter what, I'm doing it right. I, yeah, I'm transforming this work, but they're just stealing my work. Phil, don't you think that they're also transforming it? Because Yeah, but not in the right way. They're not adding their own to create the art. They're just taking my art and cutting it up. But what about somebody like Tevin, who will make your your 20-minute video a, a three-hour video? What about that? Oh, wow, it took him three hours just to talk about 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Cool. Ooh. Cool. cool. I was just reading through that too. The one where you were just like, I'm tired of my repeating myself. Cool. <laughs> you could tell that I'll go back and read my comments sometimes. And you can always tell when I've hit my break. When break. it's over! And I'm like, oh, dude, I could just feel the heavy thumbs <laughs> clicking them buttons to respond. You don't want to do this. I know it. That's how they were being popular, you see? Now, admittedly, I could have definitely reacted to this is how you don't play in a very different way. That would have not been so bad. But there's no... Negative and toxic. Why did you respond that way, Phil? Why did you not simply see it as publicity for yourself? Oh, they're going to be back because I'm doing the stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're going to... Um, it's going to take like at least a week or two to do the Epic Mickey, This Is How You Don't Play. But if they want to watch Epic Mickey right now, they're going to come here. What about that? What about the people that are going, hey, this is how... You keep talking about people coming to you and going, yo, I'm here from the tractor stuff. I used to watch This Is How You Don't Play, but now I'm here. You keep talking about people that that say that. It happens. 
Why um, did you react this way? You should have Again, said, his feelings were hurt. That, he wanted nothing but positivity. It, yeah, it's I'm legit right people I'm just going, oh my God, he sucks at games. And it's just like, I don't suck at games. <laughs> I'm one of the best but, overall but gamers no. in the country. That's the mindset that he had. You want to know the truth? I'm one of the best overall gamers in the country. That's his mindset. Muff dragging his fourth place trophy through through everything. Did you be like I did it? No, I was. I went all the way through Evo East and all this stuff. I qualified so much one year that they had to give away spots. <laughs> Because it was all me. I was so good. I was basically Team USA myself. <laughs> the bracket was nothing but feel. I would have not been so bad. But there's no guidelines to of how to be a content creator. There's no textbook. Pause. There absolutely isn't. But there is a guideline of being a, a decent human being. Or being somebody that could take criticism and laughing at yourself. Some people can... If you cannot laugh at yourself, you should not be in the yeah, industry no. that predicates or entertainment and or comedy. Because if you have three people on your stream, one of them mumps is going to make fun of you. And you yeah. got to roll with it. Yeah. you got, If they go, you trash, you shouldn't go, oh my God, uh, get out of here. I was getting destroyed in the in Knockout City <laughs> stream that I did. Not exactly deservingly so, I'll say. But I rolled with it. Laughed along. Made the jokey jokes. It is what it is, Phil. And if somebody went, yo, this is how you don't play Knockout City DA, I'd be like, ah, you piece of garbage. I'd watch that. I'd laugh. And I'd move on. It's Here's not me. that difficult. It's you, not that And you difficult. can't even use the whole, yo, I was young thing. Age don't matter when you're in your late 20s. Roll with it. Go, dang, I really did do a bad job with this video. There's Message them up. Be like, hey, let's work together. Put it on my, I'll, let's put it on my uh, channel. And it'll be a quick montage for people. We can split the revenue. Something. But you just stamp your feet and go, no, this is illegal. This is mine. <laughs> Ooh, he just took that the whole wrong way. And the, and the thing is, he could have just ignored it. Like, yeah, whatever. Not even talked about but it. But that's not, he couldn't ignore it because his numbers in his mind go down. Their number go up. So I can't just sit back and just let them do let this forever. Let their number go up when my number go down. There's a million better ways that you could have handled it than just, no, they're stealing from me and this is illegal and my stuff is art. This doesn't, this doesn't get made. If you just put down a, a paintbrush and some paint, that'll just sit there. But then I pick it up and I make the art. It's just like when I pick up this controller, whole <laughs> <up> controller. <laughs> And this piece is show the pieces of the slices of pizza on his phone. Couldn't show his ear medication. Couldn't show his champions account and just block out the name. So nope. it can't show nothing no, but, but this. You gotta show these two stacked up slices of pizza. Oh going, my god, look, so New York! When you can simply look up Papa John's New York style. But no. I'm 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 at least glad he didn't fire up his phone going, hey guys, I'm I'm eating some pizza. Here it is. Cause that seems like something he would do. But no, his family, this is this is important a long time sort of thing. Textbook, here's how you do it. It was all just going through it and living through it for the very first time. I and mean, in a lot of ways I was the case. If you look at my history of content creation and the mistakes that I made over the years there was no right or wrong way. There was no way to learn from anyone else because no one else had been through it yet. I was the first guy going through Whoa! <laughs> he thinks he's the first content creator ever to have issues like this. 
He's a maniac. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he can't. He can't seriously sit there and be like, nah, me. Oh, there was no blueprint because I was the very first ever. <laughs> oh, now, if he means the very first targeted, like, you suck at gaming type of thing, maybe. But as far as criticism based on your gameplay cut up in a montage fashion, absolutely not. Especially because, uh, who the Retsu play, who also did it, they did, this is how you don't play, it's for other people. Not this, they didn't call it yeah. that. But it was more, it was mostly just failed montages that they make, made fun of. So they were doing that way before you, Phil. But no, it was him first and foremost. The very, f oh my God, elbow. Because <laughs> no one else had been through it yet. I was the first guy going through all this shit. You see? Um, so in regards to that, definitely 100%. I know that I could have reacted better to this is how you don't play. And that's really what the beginning of the hate movement against DSP and DSP Gaming started. It was those videos. Um, and that was another time. It wasn't those videos. It was um, most like DSP cult leader. All those people back then just going, hey, Phil is doing a lot of these stupid stuff. We're all cancel Phil, you know, because he's a garbage content creator. Look, he's cancel who was asking for you not to make content anymore, Phil? Who was lobbying for your removal to the ability to make playthroughs, Phil? They were making fun of how terrible you were. In this instance, with the yeah. with the blip TV stuff, they oh, were yeah. absolutely like, nah, get, nah, get him out of here. But, but you going, Kojima sucks? Who's going not cancel him because of this? Never he let him make anything ever again. He doesn't deserve to be on YouTube. What a hunk of garbage. <laughs> Effort into his content. All he does is insult game creators and blah, 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 blah. Right? You know, you can fast forward again to 2016 and the incident. Uh, where basically because of a very stupid years thing ago. that I did on a stream that people tried to, to basically say that Phil should be banned. Whoa! You see that super chat? No. Whoa! All right, I'm blocking that out. <laughs> like that. That certainly didn't go according to plan. But what they wanted to do, it completely backfired. <laughs> Pause. What? Nobody tried to cancel you because Nobody. of that, Phil. We were just laughing at how stupid you were. Or potentially were not. Depending on the day, honestly. <laughs> How stupid or smart you were. But nobody was like, remove this guy from the internet because he jerked off. Nobody was like that. It was like, wow, Phil, this was really stupid. No, I didn't do nothing. I was scratching my leg. Banned. No, I, I went along with it all this time, y'all. I was always in on the joke. He hey, Keemstar, get me on drama alert. Oh, this no. Keemstar bastard, all he does is drama stuff. Him. I bet, I bet if you would have cultivated a relationship with them based on this, you would have been like, oh, dang, it's so sad Keem's retiring. You know, that's a long-time friend of mine. Would have been a whole different type whole of... Di whole different. Okay. Um, mostly because at that time, I Lady didn't in. actually learn. How to react to that kind of shit when it happened. I had all By stopping all your comments? By removing comments and likes from your videos? Is that how you stopped it, Phil? By blocking people on Twitter. By telling your audience, ain't nothing happened. Don't talk about it. Moving on. Already gone through it multiple times. And seeing how it went through multiple times. Right? I was able to ride that wave of negativity and actually spin it into some positivity for myself, which was a good thing, right? <clears throat> Pause. What positivity? See, that's, 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 
That's that 60 40. <laughs> <laughs> to where he came out of the ashes of the, the spoon he, he released to go, I'm reborn! That is that 60 40 where he's less like. Let me do the stupidest thing that I can possibly do. And again. And see what will happen to me. Again, nothing on his, no, nothing, nothing shown, nothing hurt, nothing on his, on his uh, nothing. Thing. stream from whatever he was watching. Nothing. Nothing. And he just go, and that's the thing. He just goes, what can I get? A, what is the worst thing that I can do? Where it's not like I'm I'm outright saying the N word. What's the worst thing that I can do, and what will come of it? Oh, basically nothing came out of it. I'm bulletproof. Phil is sixty forty. Phil is Phil is very adamant that thing is not thing until he knows he's not gonna get in trouble for it. He knows there won't be repercussions. Oh, I was scratching my leg. But if he knew from the get-go that he wasn't getting in trouble from Twitch or banned or anything for that, he would be like, dang, that happened. Yeah. <clears throat> then, I would say the next time that someone tried to kiss, see what I mean? Well, you. He you, gives so many examples about himself. and g He gave no examples before. So many for now. And they're all examples of like I did something stupid and people talked about it and that's canceling. Is he gonna talk about that shield tweet? This has happened to me how many times over the years? How many times? Right? 2018. In 2018, okay, Kat had just recently moved in okay. with me. We weren't that married is. yet. We he didn't bring up the 11 year old girl. No, of course not. Because there's video. Proof about that. Is there and, he, and he already debunked it. He was just like, no, nah, it didn't happen. But Phew. it did. It was a video. No, it didn't happen. Phil. It literally didn't happen. There's a video there. Go watch the video. Phil, Phil is Phil, I watched thinking. the video and you, and you said that. So, well, how about a band? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Uh, Phil is very bad at thinking on his feet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if he's got his own narrative, he's ready to go. But if it's just somebody bringing him something new, I'm done. What type of idiot? Let me tell yeah. you. In the debunk stream where he was, just, where somebody was just like, yeah, I'm taking questions from the chat. Somebody was just like, you said that Tevin has view bots. What's your evidence for that? I'm not talking about it. Because he didn't have any evidence. He heard it from somebody. Yep. And, and, he, and he used it as factual truth. And it's so funny that he kept going, you know. Uh, if those people branched out and not talked about me, they wouldn't get any type of popularity. Tim is more popular than ever. Yeah. Not talking about Phil. Recently moved in with me. And we had made plans to do what was called a staycation, where we were going to go to Seattle. And we were going to spend some time together in Seattle in a hotel. Why would you? Yeah. That's very stupid. Just drive up there, see the sights, and come back. Yep. Very least, get an Airbnb, cost you like $60 instead of a hotel, $110, 120 But, but no. he wanted to be there for the weekend, see all the sights, eat all the food, and then come home. It's a 40-minute drive, Phil. Bro, you, that, you said this. That mustache is pissing me off because it is just so lopsided. The left you didn't is just so see him much shorter. It out. Yeah, he just smoothed smooth. it out, and that's why it's pissing me off. <laughs> smooth it out for the ladies. We were gonna do various things. No, while he's we married. Were there. I didn't tell anyone. Dude, look, look at how it. off the stash. I was afraid that at that point, literally, the stalking online had gotten so bad, people were taking pictures of me walking through my local mall and posting them on the internet. It was creepy fucking shit that. Yeah, I don't know who that was, but that was a yeah. bad look. Yeah. Stuff like that is is always going to get pointed to as look at what people do. And, and that's the other thing. Easy thing. It really hurts detractors narrative of, hey, Phil, you do this and this and this when he could just go, you guys swatted me. You the escort. You believe that. Uh, you you take pictures of me in the mall. You looked up cat's exorcism. <laughs> uh, uh, cat's past. <laughs> Just a stutter, Bob. Didn't play. 
It was creepy fucking shit that was going on. So I did this staycation where I didn't say what I was going to do, but we actually went to Seattle. And we had all these events planned. We were going to go to the Space Needle. We okay, where's the this, castle? We were going to do that. And basically, it's in a nutshell, all right? In a nutshell, while we were on this trip to Seattle, everything went wrong. Everything. Oh, yeah, they said the show that we had fell through. Every, you know, Cat was sick. While we were because he's gearing up for why he sent out the yep. tweet. I That's was having exactly a super what bad it is. day. Holy crap! Everything was. It terrible. wasn't my fault that I actively held up my phone, turned on Unlocked Twitter, it. or whatever. Turned the brightness up. <laughs> Gotta be able to see. Typed out my entire tweet and sent it. It's a, it's one thing if you just say it and it's on your mind. You go, dang, I guess I fucked up. But you, yeah, you if, have to if go it through. It was like a blogging thing where he was live streaming everything that was going yeah. on. It was just like, oh my God, wh- what did you say? They're playing the game. Right? Oh my God, Shields. Well, guys, you can watch me next week playing it like you guys for real. But you got to go through so many steps to send out a tweet. That you can't just be like, man, I fucked up. Cause you 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 can look at what you're what it is. There's so many times where I'll say something and listen back and go, yeah, that's kind of funny. Or what, what what exactly was your point there? This is on. Do the you cup. know how many times I've been on the cusp of sending a tweet and then I will look at it and I go. That's not really yeah. worth it. Or, or or a text message where you go, yeah. and will my point get across the way that I want it to get across? And then you reword it. Discord, stuff like that. Like, I want to call this person a, an idiot, but I don't want to hurt their feelings. So you're not exactly right. <laughs> There's... And, and and you just you just gotta put up this shield of nah, but but here's this thing that ha- and I was and my depression. Let's let that there's also that. And I had this whole thing planned and we didn't have a whole lot of money, so we just tried to do something. So you fun. know it's it. Point point. There. So it sucked. Um we had plans to park a certain place, ended up didn't work out. We had to walk and our feet were killing us the whole trip. You had to walk from probably like six blocks away to the hotel you were at. And your feet were killing Ew. you. Dude. As you're were driving. Were you hiking up Mount Everest, Phil? Our feet were killing us? Were you just go, yeah, we had to park somewhere else and we had to walk? Was it miles, Phil? Because if it is, hire and do an Uber. And no. that'll be like $6. He, he had his car. We were going to park somewhere else. It didn't work no. out. And then he had and then they had to walk. So and you're I'm saying, saying I, get an Uber for those six blocks? No, I'm saying if he cause he's going, I'm I'm looking at it through the fields lens mm-hmm. of we were walking for so long and our feet were tired. So let's just say it was two, three miles that they had to walk. But this is what I'm saying. I think he said he means that wherever he parked was further away from wherever he wanted to Yeah, be. no, and they had to So walk. they had to walk back and forth, and that's when their feet started hurting because they thought they were going to be closer. So when they mm-hmm. got to their destination, their feet were already on the cusp of being hurting. No, I think he's just going, we had to walk five miles uphill, and our feet were hurting because we, we couldn't get our correct parking spot. Did we go to the fucking Space Needle? The Space Needle was under renovations. Why didn't you look so this up? So we couldn't even do... Seriously. You see what I'm saying? Like, it was a million things going on that just... It, it, Pause. It, Legitimately, why didn't you look this up? <laughs> when I go somewhere, when I go out of town for a f- in con or something, I will always look up, hey, yo, what's going on? Is the Greyhound, is that still rocking everything? I'll arrive super early. You looked this stuff up. You said you had planned all this stuff. Or you just like, all right, as you... The the analog writing stuff down is terrible. Because the, the, the emote thing... Does what? Just write stuff down. Why? D- did you see the emotes thing today? No. He just wrote down his e- his emotes and goes, I got them all right here. Uh, we, got, we got the frog feel. We got the dab. 
with just paper. He has a phone. Yes. Where's our potential emotes? On my phone. Why is he writing stuff down? I don't know. Because he's an alien. He probably can't see the words on that blindingly <laughs> white screen. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's... So what get an was, iPad. Not an iPad, but get a tablet. Right? And get it for no Big and even get like a, a keyboard He has a laptop. Extension. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It do, dude, it really does matter. Why is he taking his time out of his day to literally write down? Do a text-to-speech. That could also work. DSP emotes. I do text to speech all the time. Unbelievable. Compounded. I don't want to see the. F I don't want to see you it. Don't see Stop it? seeking it. You don't want to see it. No. You sure you don't want to see it? No, I don't. You sure you don't want to see this paper right here holding his emotes? <laughs> you sure you don't want to see that? What is this even, sheet of paper what is holding even the his purpose? emotes? That's just one of what them is just the... going dab. One of them is just going frog. One of them is just going sip. This dude. It is it it's the longest con ever. He's gonna come out and just like, yo, I'm the leader of Mensa. I got you all. Why would I the write the longest down? social experiment <laughs> in history? <laughs> <laughs> He's just waiting for the millionth person to call him out. Just like, all right, I'm no longer getting away with this. <laughs> they're, they're seeing through it. I can't get away with this for much. No, no, no. We still got him. Let's just add a little gray to this beard. <laughs> hey, I mix the just for me. I don't think they believed that I did the 20 push-ups off screen. No, they got it. They bought it. Ban anyone who doesn't say it. This this experiment will continue. Bruh. Do We've they... been doing this for 10 years. <laughs> Perpetually 10 years. <laughs> Since 2000. Look at calendar 11. Russell's paper. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> it just. it's It pisses me off so much. Where he goes. Let me go get. My paper, my my sheet of paper holding my bills and the amount that the I need to pay I do not and understand. the date that I need to pay them. There are calculators all the time. There are planners on your phone that goes, do you know how every month I get a reminder, DTE, bill due this day. How does he not have this? I ain't even said it. It said itself. He's a caveman. He is a caveman that is unthawed, plopped into 20, 2008, and just go, go. Uh, it's like a, the a Geico caveman. Like, nah, I do play tennis, but you're a caveman. And he's grown up. Seeing the advancement in technology. And that's the worst part. Like, it's not even that he was too late to adopt or adapt. No. It's a tablet. It's uh, it's on your phone. You use your phone constantly, champions. You're not going to go to the old folks' home like iPhone S20. Figure it out. No. Touch screens. And, and, oh, you just, you, you, you wiggle your fingers like this and it's, no, nah, that passed me by. Sorry. Yo, you're not convincing them. But Phil, in, in his 30s, as things are advancing, and he's still writing down his emotes. You know why? That's an adult thing to do, to write down your bills, all your things. Okay, but that's a child's mentality to think that that's an adult thing to do. Yeah. What's your point? See, this is when you got to listen back and just go, what was your point there, <laughs> Dan? <laughs> Saying stuff that very obvious. <laughs> you knew the answer. Why yeah, did you why? ask? It's like, dang, I wish I could ask the words of flying out of my mouth. Just bring them back and just go, nope, moving on. Into 
the worst case scenario for us. All this time and money that I had planned and invested in doing this nice trip for us, it was a, basically the trip sucked. It was a kind of a waste of time, okay? So while that was happening, at that time, what was that? All right, what did he still look at his finger there was, now too? Uh, games basically coming out that week, and people were like, "Well, Phil, you're not going to be here this week to play these games now." But did you know that there's other content creators who got these games early and are playing them right now on Twitch? And there's a couple that are getting thousands and thousands and thousands of views. And I'm I'm watching them. Look, this guy just got like a thousand dollar tip playing this new game. And what do you think about that? What do you think about people getting games early? And being able to play them exclusively on the internet and then everyone going and watching their content and then making ridiculous amounts of money Pause. off of the fact super easy to go i don't think about them i'm doing yeah. my own thing it does not concern me you guys i know you're gonna come back to me yeah. not only for the gameplay but for my personality and my thoughts about that yeah uh you know anybody can play the game early are you there for the game or are you there for my entertainment or uh what i can do with the game or to see me fail or whatever. And if you are there for the game, hey, guess what? You're going to see my first reactions, and that's something. I've seen people play Detroit back and forth all the Dude, time. it's some fun. Doesn't matter. I still watch those people for their reactions. So he could just be like, hey, yo, come back. Don't come back. What? I'll be there. You watch them, you watch me, you watch whatever you want. This doesn't concern me because there's nothing that I can do about these people. I'm doing my own thing. I'm a, I'm a buy the game. I'm going to play it on the day just like y'all. We can play along. Y'all can watch them. Y'all can watch me. Whatever y'all want to do. I don't. I, it doesn't really concern me. But no, he had to be like, these shield bastards making my money. Making my money. Taking money out of my pocket. I'm my like, wife um, is sick. <laughs> we couldn't do the space needle. Our feet are killing us. We're sweating our ba uh, uh, pools of sweat. That was one of the funniest clips. He just goes, we're sweating our balls off. He goes... Cat doesn't have balls, and he stops us like, but, but pools of sweat. <laughs> that they were the chosen few who get a game early. Chosen <clears throat> few. Balls. Um, in his, in one of his, um, I think it was the Machinima one, where he was just like, Machinima didn't really help, because who really talks about Machinima? Yeah, they took me to E3, but they didn't give me connections. They didn't give me free early games. Nothing like that. You wanted, you, you're, you only want the early games when it benefits you. And then also, you just go, yeah, I got the early game, but I need it for my business. Like when he hacked the, what was the game that he had to make a Japanese account to play early? Oh, uh, Dark Souls 3, Dark I think it Souls. Was. And he And it, he just did it yeah. like, yeah, did they're it. doing it. Why not? Like when you played your pirated copy of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. No, but I didn't have the copy. That was somebody else's but copy, and I just played it, and I, it. and I recorded it, and I put it up. But I didn't have it. You profited. All right, and I remember I made a Twitter, a tweet on my timeline. This wasn't like I went out there on someone else's timeline or I was making giant videos and crap all about this. Wow, well, you were adding people and just blah, blah, blah. They can still see it. Do buddy. you think that that gives you an, an immunity to criticism, Phil? Carte blanche to be like, I can just say whatever I want and I'm not targeting anybody. So what's the problem? If you took offense, hey, guess what? You the shield. Yeah, who's, whose fault is that? Whose problem is that? Not Phil's. But basically what I said was, and this was about, I think the name of the game was State of Decay 2. I think that's the game it was. Okay, and I think it's State of Decay 2, that game's a piece of dog shit, right? At the time, no one knew that. No one knew it was going to be a piece of dog shit, okay? So I had made a post on my Twitter, and it was something to the effect, and again, this is me paraphrasing and trying to remember three and a half years ago, but I think it was something to the effect of, hey guys, you know, listen, I know I'm not here right now to play the game, and I heard that there's a lot of people who are getting to play it early, these people are shills. These people are getting the game early to promote it because they're getting paid to do so. This is not real content. This is actual free paid advertisement. You have to understand that that's fake, what it is. This is fake Don't content. take that as legitimate gameplay. I will be here on Friday. 
to play the game with you guys and show you exactly what it is because you know when I do playthroughs, they're honest. I'm going to give you my honest opinions if the game is good or bad or whatever. Right now, anyone who's playing this game early likely is a paid shill and you got to be skeptical of the kind of content that they're putting out. I wouldn't trust it. I'll be here on Friday to, to play it myself. Pause. That's, that was a tweet. <laughs> the whole, just one that, tweet. That was tweet paraphrase, basically. Uh, those playing State of the K2 a full week early are paid shields. They are walking advertisements. Not true gamers. And are... <laughs> <laughs> Not true gamers and are doing so solely for the paycheck. I will be, all caps, paying for the game, all four of those words were all caps, and playing it this Friday just like many of you, and my reactions will be legit, as always. This is not what you said, Phil. No. You sugarcoated it to make yourself seem They're as logical as you. possible. Oh my god. Instead of this giant salt monster that you were. Just a sodium creature. <laughs> what is this? A sodium creature? It is. It's a Dude. Man. I, I, I didn't say you, Lakeisha. I said, Lakeisha, I know we have our problems. <laughs> And we're trying to work it out, but we got to do it for the kids, and I'm trying to find a job. And if you have issue with that, I, that's not my problem. You get you can deal with it on your own time, okay? Uh, that's what that's basically what else paraphrase is what I said. Tyler, Tyler. here's here's the your text message to me that says, Lakeisha, your booty hole stank. <laughs> you. <laughs> Well, what I meant was... You animate my kids. <laughs> <laughs> this Parent. sack of garbage! I can't believe he's you trying to... Re- I. You are absolutely correct. I can believe that he's trying but to rewrite history. But you're in disbelief. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to believe that it's still happening like this. Play it As he actively in the muff in a debunk stream went, yeah, I was wrong. I was stupid. But then, like you said, he's just like, I was right about that game. It sucked. Yeah. But, uh, and they I'm, are shields. Uh, so. <laughs> to, to play it myself. That's paraphrased. Okay. Um. Can, and can we hear all of his paraphrase? Again? Quick. It was so I, I just want to hear it real quick. And let me just real quick one more time. Hold on, I got to wait for it to start wherever it is. play the game with you guys. Nope. <laughs> These people are getting the game. Nope. <laughs> three and a half years ago. But I think it was something to the effect of. Yep, there we go. Those playing State of the Cape 2 a full week early are paying shields. They are walking advertisements, not true gamers, and doing so solely for a paycheck. I'll be paying for the game, in all caps, and playing it this Friday, just like many of you, and my reactions will be legit as always. Hey guys, you know, listen. I know I'm not here right now to play the game. And okay, pause. Of- First off, that was not in there. Anything about not being able to... Nope, sure was not. ...now to play the game. And I heard that there's a lot of people who are getting to play it early. Pause. There are a lot of people playing it early. That part was not in there. You just went, these mobs that got it early are are shills. Period. Period. And I heard that there's a lot of people who are getting to play it early. These people are shills. These people are getting the game early to promote it. Pause. Can I... Can we go back to when he he says... Yes, he says shills twice. No, no. Look at his eyes when he says shoes. Oh, no. Ow. To play the game. And I heard that there's a lot of people who are getting to play it early. These people are shills. These people are getting the game Pause. early. He looked did- off camera. Yes, he did. I don't know what that is. I want to get a psychology degree. <laughs> Just for feel. Just for feel. I would, I would blow professors away. They'd be like, this is a, this is a study. How? This is my 10 year study on film. <laughs> <laughs> like, legit, why are there not 
papers upon papers about this guy. Just that alone. Just textbook. It's textbook narcissism. It's textbook lying. What he does, this is just an watch. example. A perfect example. You don't need roll in that that tube TV into the classroom and show them this and they'll be like got it 100% don't need to read about narcissism at all I would love to see some psychology student going for some master's degree and this is their uh, dissertation and it's just about feel just like this is my thesis but here you go cheating cause it's so easy I could do it <laughs> And he'd be like, oh, oh yeah, Dr. What Brown. <laughs> this is clearly written by an expert. It's like, no, it was not. I mean, there's several spelling mistakes. <laughs> but beyond that, it's impeccable. <laughs> this is one of the most engaging character studies I've ever seen. <laughs> what a flawless in, uh, examination on this person. Thank you very much. <laughs> No, thank you, doctor. <laughs> getting to play early, these people are shills. These people are getting the game early to promote it because they're getting paid to do so. This is... Um, did they go, hey, go buy this game, or did they play the game? And feel, they until you know the difference and you know exactly what they did... Um, yeah, uh, it is, um, advertising in the game in the spectrum of showcasing it, but yes. content creators are the exact same. If a beta comes out, you are advertising the game by showing off the beta and making people enticed to buy it. It's up to the audience to be like, do I want to buy this based upon what I'm seeing on the screen right now? I don't care if Dr. Disrespect is playing this game. Does it look good to me? Is it worth my money to buy this thing? People aren't the sheep that you think they are. Now, they are also the sheep that you think that they are, but they're not entirely the sheep that you think they are. It's not real content. This is actual free paid advertisement. You have to understand that that's what it is. Don't take that as legitimate gameplay. Pause. Uh you have to understand what this is. Don't take this as legitimate gameplay. So, it's illegitimate gameplay. Even if they are actually having fun. Yes. No, you can they say... Can't, but they can't say, I'm having fun, I'm not having fun, that was a bad thing, anything like that. It, you can say that whatever they're doing, you can take with a grain of salt. Because you have to understand they're getting paid yes. for it. You can say something like that. Maybe their reactions aren't as legitimate as they would be if they weren't getting paid for it. But you're just going, they're absolutely paid shields because they're advertising. Were you a paid shield when you played that puzzle game you got for free? Were you a paid shield when you played Marvel vs. Capcom uh, early? Were you a paid shield when you put your, your affiliate link in the, in the description of a chair that you had not even gotten yet? It was on the way and it was just like, click on the link and buy my chair. Were you a shield when you reviewed the controller they sent you for free? No, because it's Phil. And Phil, he just Rhyme lives by you. different. <laughs> <laughs> I will be here on Friday to play the game with you guys and show you exactly what it is because you know when I do play. So what they show was not what it was. Yes. They got a different build of the game. And they got the exclusive in. content creator build yep, of the game. Early content creator build of the game. Phil, what are you doing? Because they're honest. I'm going to give you my honest opinions if the game is good or bad or whatever. Right now, anyone who's playing this game early likely is a paid shill, and you got to be skeptical. Of it. No, there was there no was likely. zero likely. There was no qualifier of maybe their opinion. No, and they are categorically a paid shit. And there was nothing like you got to be careful about who you watch and who you support and stuff. There was nothing like that either, Phil. They likely is a paid shill, and you got to be skeptical of the kind of content that they're putting out. I wouldn't trust it. I'll be here on Friday to to play it myself. That's paraphrased, okay? Um. And basically, Dang what man. happened... Don't tell me you're reading it again. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to... Look up paraphrase? Nope. 
I'm going to, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to listen back to all of that and see how much of a tweet that that would actually be. <laughs> you can just because, do, um, my good. You can just do, um, uh, how many characters? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay. Bing. Was I got attacked by not just a few people, not just my haters, actual like big time content creators. Well, <coughs> <coughs> oh, you choke on it. Choke on it, whore. <laughs> oh, I got Rona in my throat. Hang on. <coughs> <coughs> yep, that got it. It works, Phil. Thank you so much. I just gotta beat my chest like a baby. And everything just comes out. I'm 30 pounds slimmer because of that. Thanks, Phil. Was that what the pause was for? Um, I don't remember what he said. <laughs> I, not just a few people, not just my haters. Oh, yeah. I got attacked by, attacked. <laughs> you got responded to. Yes. And the month calls Criticized. you stupid. God, how many people have you called stupid, Phil? Are you Phil? attacking them peop those people? No, I'm not attacking them because they are stupid. Okay, Phil. Actual. Uh, first, early access is rarely about money. It's usually about generating buzz from specific, specific titles. Ah, you got a word, too. Ah, shut clip up, it, Triton. Say, shut up, Triton. Shut up. Don't you dare clip this. Get that. Get timed. See what happens. Piece of yeah, I delete he times. <laughs> uh, second, is money slash product is in, if money slash project product is involved, casters are legally required to disclose if it's a sponsored stream. Third, this is a bad take and can, it can misinform others about the topic. Uh, yeah, this from the Kiwi yeah, farms. Yeah, yeah. It, it just shows a bunch of people tweets responded to it. Yeah, yep. what an ignorant tweet. Doesn't it get exhausting to be such a bitter old man? <laughs> that's just... While DSP is truly a man of the people... Oh, that's Pat's wife. <laughs> Look, I found a true gamer. Oh, no. Looks like somebody didn't get an early copy and is a little mad. Big sort. Yeah, Phil. I don't, I don't see somebody going, hey, raid his stream and Make type sure. in... Just type in the letter E. <laughs> I don't see none of that. I see people going, Phil, this is a bad take. You don't understand, probably because you don't get them. <laughs> and you admitted that it was a bad take, Phil. But no, he rocked it back because he admitted it 10 years ago. Like big time content creators. You know, blue check marks on Twitter who have a million two. Phil, you on. have a blue check mark! You are a big check mark. You are a blue check mark. You Phil. can't use that as a derogatory term when you the mother f uh, Are you the guy? <laughs> it is. I'm watching his Twitch. <laughs> Subs on YouTube who are some of the biggest live streamers on Twitch actually responded to my tweet. Because it was dumb. And attack. Even though I hadn't mentioned this. And attack. attack. And attack. Me, and even attack. though I haven't mentioned any of them. It doesn't matter if you mention any of them. You you mentioned them as the category of paid shield. Yes. So anybody that participated in that, you are calling them out. So if I just send out a tweet like anybody that works at McDonald's is a broke boy and will never amount to anything. And there's some former McDonald's employee like, well, I'm a millionaire. Oh, why are you attacking me? I didn't, I didn't even, even tweet you in this. I didn't mention you. I wasn't talking about you. Why are you attacking me? It Big check, blue check mark. Doesn't work like that, Phil. This is Twitter. It's an open forum. And, and you put your opinion out there. And then people responded in kind, and you're mad that they responded to you. What about the times when you responded to somebody like Neil Druckmann when he was like, hey, buy The Last of Us 2 to stick it to the, the haters? And you did, every time uh, you buy The Last of Us 2 is a, a, a thing, somebody hurt, but uh, A bigot hate, or hurt yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, big hurt, butt hurt or something And you like went, that. oh, Neil Druckmann, this is a terrible, what about that? And why, still mention it to this day. Why can you do it, but others can't? 
How many times have you been responded to Jeff Keighley or somebody that you're trying to kiss the butt to? You you straight you do. Like what what are you talking about? And why is it okay when when big content creators like He He Productions? No, oh, it's H three H three. I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. They just got big number. They they get got big number. They mention me. Why is it okay when they praise you and retweet your sh the masturbation thing? When you were when they weren't tagged or anything, why do you get to mention them praising you? When they weren't involved, when they didn't, when they had nothing to do with this, why is it only the hate when people when you like I'm getting I'm getting dog piled on, and not when when uh, Boogie retweets you, you go Boogie retweeted it. Why do you get to say that? Why do you get the ups but not the downs? When they pat you on the back, it's just like, hey, all these people patting me on the back. But when they call you out, it's like, they're all attacking me. What is this? <laughs> What's happening? And it's ha even though I hadn't mentioned a single one of them, their no names were mentioned in my tweet or anything like that. It doesn't they matter. They actually attacked me. If I... Actually... A they did not attack you actually in two... Again, if you say everybody that did this thing is this thing, then anybody that did that thing... Hey, I did that thing. I'm you're talking thing. about them. Phil. Oh, oh, he didn't mention me on this tweet, so I, I, I don't have anything to say. Even though I got this game early, and he's saying I'm a shield, I wasn't mentioned, so I can't say anything. And said things to the effect of, oh, Dar DSP... Paul, is you see that? Voice plus arms crossed plus pursed lips. That's just, just disregard just them as disregard. wrong, you guys. Minimize because whatever they were talking about. Look at what I'm doing to represent them. Oh man, I never go. Oh man, Demon Slayer is the best manga of all time. I love Jinbei. I never do that. I attack people's points. Sometimes they're characters. But the <laughs> point is what matters. Not putting on a silly voice and going, look at how ridiculous I'm making these people. Oh, man. There's no. Oh, Dar DSP is an old grumpy man. This kind of attitude is why he'll never make it big and blah, blah, blah. How's that an attack? How was that an attack? You're an older gentleman than they were. And you were acting super grumpy. Things like this going, if you have a game early and are getting paid for it, you are a paid shield. You're not And not a true gamer. <laughs> Left that part out. You're not having an open mind about these things. So this is just indicative of all these other things that you may or may not have an open mind about. And thus, you will be less likely to grow. And they're right, Phil. They're correct. Oh, look at him. He's such a toxic idiot. Why would anyone pay attention to what he has to say? Who said that? Who? Please call out a name. Oh, and why mention the name? Sorry. And why do you remember these exact tweets? Three from years three ago. Ten years, years ago. ago. <laughs> two years. Two years ago. <laughs> years ago. Oh, two, two years ago. The funniest part about it is, I was right. I was absolutely right. If you now look at back in history, State of Decay Two was a piece of shit. The games. Okay. How it, does that prove you right that they were paid shields if they did not advocate for the purchase of State of Decay 2? Phil. It, it matters not if it was the quality. a bad game. Now, if it's a bad game and they go, go buy it, y'all, this is a great game, absolutely you could call them out. But Phil has no evidence Ev of that. None. Because Just he the doesn't fact watch that they were people. playing. Just and the, the fact, fact they were making that money. That number go up. Money number go up. That my my money number not go up. Shields. That mouth is doing things right now. <laughs> Sucked ass. It was not even nearly as good as State of Decay 1. Okay. The game ripped features out of the game that made what State of Decay matter? 1 great. They added in new features that didn't add anything. The gameplay mechanics sucked. The graphics sucked. The game was cool. full of bugs. The game was actually a piece of garbage. And the people who fucking were paid to advertise it early in the week...
advertise it again were they talking positively about it or did they play the game and just talk about what was going on in the game were paid shills in fact in fact after my tweet a few people not a lot but a few people actually responded back to some of the content creators who had been criticizing me and said Gee, isn't it funny that you're playing the game, but you're not giving your opinion on the game? They were not allowed to say positives or negatives about the game. It's part of the contract. It's part of the contract. You get to play it early. You get to showcase the game. You cannot say positive or negative because it could be misconstrued as a review. And there was a review embargo. How hard is it this to comprehend? They're not giving their opinion. They're just playing the game. Okay. How are they a shill in that case? I'm right. They're not shilling a product. They're just playing a product they got. I'm right. That's like going on the impulsive buy and going, oh, they got this product for free. So their 7 out of 10 is actually for real. They're just a paid shield for this product. It's really like a four out of ten, but they bumped it up because the paid product. That's the way the field sees it. What a dumb mother! <laughs> One of them actually hit back, which I couldn't believe they did. I mean, talk about stupid, and said, "Oh, well, legally, I'm not able to give you any opinion on the game yet because of the review embargo." How is that stupid? How is that stupid? They're informing them. Hey, you guys are paid shield. No, we're not. Why aren't you giving opinions? Because I legally cannot. Positive I'm... or negative. Wow, what an idiot. I can't believe he did. He just proved that he's paid to shield the game. They're paid to show off the game. They have a If they were even reach. paid, they might have just gotten the game early. An accomplice of a hawker, gambler, or swindler who acts as an enthusiastic customer to entice or encourage others. Entice or encourage others. Just playing the game does not entice or encourage. If they can't give their opinion, they cannot entice or encourage. Now, if they're pay playing up the fun they're having, then you can call them a shield. But, Phil, you have no evidence because you watch zero streams. Actually. And this is stuff that you have said. But once the review embargo list later this week, then I can give you my opinions on the game. So literally the person admitted publicly, everything I'm putting out is a paid advertisement. No! Yes, in Phil's minds, he, in one ear, and it, in his mind, transformed it into whatever he needs to, to make himself right. First off, were they even paid some of them? Everybody, though, remember that. And again, they can't say anything about it. And every game is an advertisement when you do a playthrough or stream of it. Now, you get things out of it, but you are advertising the game. Even if you speak positively or negatively about it, that is an advertisement. And if you make a single cent, you were paid for it. This is unbelievable. But his, his advertised streams, those are different, though. Everything is a paid advertisement until the game officially releases. Then I can be a real person again. But literally, if you watch my content before then, I'm paid to, to basically kiss the game's butt. No! Oh, no! That, do, no! You see, do you see how he took that one little, no, I can't do it. And then he took it and just went, no, everything, that all this stuff that he added from that... That he interpreted from that little bit. He keeps doing this. They literally admitted it, in other words, but they literally... In other words. So All right, you're on the like... trial of murder. Did you do it? I absolutely did not. He said absolutely. <laughs> Lock him up. It's he done. admitted it. Just in other words. words. <laughs> wow admitted everything that I had said in my tweet was true. 
But I was trying. They were trying to cancel me. They had a. Who tried to cancel Phil, 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 Phil. Who tried to cancel you off? They, them. Who is them? Them. Who? You, you, you getting attention, negative attention, is not a cancellation. Dude, it's, it's, it's just zero, one, ten, and a hundred. That's all he got. Hey, I got 10,000 uh, retweets. That's a viral tweet. That's all this is. He's so extreme with his mindset that he just goes, they attacked me. Well, they disagreed with you, Phil. Oh, they 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 said that they couldn't sh they they couldn't legally say anything. It was stupid for them to say that because that what? just uh, proved they were just kissing the game. But they said they had to, in in so many words, but <laughs> not exactly. They literally admitted it in other words, but they literally admitted everything that I had said in my tweet was true. But I was trying, they were trying to cancel me. They had um, thousands of people who were retweeting and shitting on my tweet saying, oh, look at this guy. He doesn't understand how the industry works. How is that canceling? You got negative attention for saying a stupid thing and then you deleted it and walked back and on it. Oh boy. He just hopped on a unicycle and somehow turned that mug around and went back and was like, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean it. Stop attacking me, holds chest, <laughs> T-pose. He's mad. This was the best one. He's just mad, okay, because he can't get this sponsorship opportunity. That's what... And he you remembers were. this. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember th tweets from 10 years ago. Three years ago. <laughs> Uh, like legitimately, and I've gone back and forth heavy with some people. I can't remember comments that I make on YouTube responding to people from months ago. I can't remember some revisited thing I said a month ago. And this people dude, will go, oh, you said this? What, really? Wow, that sounds all right. Uh, every in the, in the, um... In the Discord was just like, you guys said that the that the Bruce Faulkner score of DBZ was better than the original. I was like, we did? <laughs> It's not. <laughs> I'd have to listen to both. I the the original got some got some bangers. Okay. A lot of people were saying he's just angry and upset. And pause. This is again, like he said, thousands of people. And he remembers this comment, these comments. Because he doesn't get this that. This dude Look, is so psychopathic. He's just angry and upset. Because he doesn't get that. Look, he's some little small-time content creator. Oh, yeah, that's what they said. They said he's some small content creator, so he's big sad that he can't get it. Ha ha, blue check marks up. <laughs> BC gang. <laughs> so that's why he says shit like that. Right. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to explain something to you. I... Very, very, very much could have been just like those people. I could have. Over the years, I was offered many opportunities. I know how to play the game. You want to know what you do? Well, you get yourself a blue check mark. You get yourself. You. <laughs> you can have a blue check mark on both YouTube and Twitter. I don't know about Instagram, but on those two platforms. Oh, and Twitch. On those three uh, platforms, you have a check mark. Phil. Why does he have to do the check mark with his hands? Because he wants to act like he's still the little guy that doesn't have a check mark. That just has 1,300 uh, eight followers on Twitter. That is that is small no, no, time. I don't, the... I don't think you understood my question. Oh. I said, why does he have to do the check mark with his hand? Uh, Points? <laughs> Okay, so uh, the dude that I showed you before, Mr. Gigi, very good um, YouTuber. Let me see. All right, there is no check mark on his YouTube. You see that right there? Play pay promotion. You see that? No check mark on his YouTube. Mm -hmm. you see that? No check mark on his Twitter. Yep. So you don't need a check mark, Phil, to get sponsorships and paid advertisement. 
You need to be actually good and, and you funny need to have and charismatic. 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 Because uh, a lot of uh, sponsorships are now realizing that just numbers is not hitting it. Mm-hmm. You need that engagement. So you need a high watch time and all that type, type of crap. Well, you get yourself a blue check mark, you get yourself a certain number of subscribers and followers on YouTube, and then you immediately start sending out feelers to the PR departments of the gaming companies. And you say, hey, look, I'm a content creator, I get this kind of reach. Hey, if you give me a free game, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'd like to work with you. And you get in on their PR departments, and next thing you know, you're getting games for free, you're getting invited to events, you're getting all this stuff. That's why you guys may see content creators out there who are much smaller than me who actually get paid promotions, who actually get the games early or for free. Pause. People... Who, Phil? I mean, Mr. Gigi. Say to me all the time, why didn't you do this? Why don't you get that when this content creator has it? Because I don't bother. I am different from them. I am someone who is here to play games at face value, to be honest with you and transparent with you every moment of the way. That's who I am as a content creator. That's who I'm Pause. always... Honest and transparent, you deleted that tweet and, and rocked it back. When Honest you, and transparent? No, that's not a cat. No, it's not. You didn't hear a cat. I'm surprised was, nobody heard that cat. I was scratching my leg. Honest and transparent. What happened with OJ and Howard and, 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 and Rambo? Well, they betrayed me. And they that's did all not. there is to it. There is no other thing that I need to say. They just betrayed me. They're pieces of crap. Ben, I am not a paid shill. I refuse to play that game. I would Phil, you've gotten games early yeah, to do specifically this. You've gotten merchandise to do specifically this. What are you talking about, Phil? You do play the game. You just, again, you play the game while thinking you're above the game. So when the game doesn't come to you, you can just go, well, it's because I'm game. above it. I ain't even want it. I'm not part of the game. You and your girlfriend broke up. Well, use a bit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not how this works, dude. You, you're going to be crying tonight. <laughs> Popular, I would have much more money if I played that game. I don't do that. Pause. In dude, what you way? big every fin day. You send out tweets every fin day. The 11th. The 11th. The 11th. <laughs> I listened to that. I was crying. <laughs> you send it, you do this every day. Why wouldn't you swallow your fing prize yes. for that 5K? Do you know how much 5K could do for you right now, Phil? Does, if you just swallow that? And don't matter if Muffs click on that link. You got the. He did loot crate and stuff yeah, like oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Advertise constantly. He did loot crate and one of the offshoot loot, loot crates. Like game crates or something like that. But that's fine. See, Phil, there's people w- w- slogging their way to a job they hate every day to put food on the table for their family. And you will not sacrifice a little bit of your values so you don't have to worry about money? A minute to go raid Shadow Legends. That's Ray, that's come holler at your boys. <laughs> Don't come holla at me. Don't come holla at your boy. <laughs> Not Ray. I want no part of Ray. I'll do some Raycons. I'll do absolutely. I'll do some other boys. Casper Ray. Mat- mattress? Absolutely. See, hey, you new Hey, hey. Give me a nice pillow company. Give me a give me an anime sure. pillow. I'll rock you up. Give me some I will use. Give me some toothpaste. <laughs> Give me a toothpaste company. Give me one of them uh, uh, food subscription. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love those. Uh, blue, th- blue, whatever is one of them boys. Yeah. Give me a, give me a fruit, a fruit of the month club. <laughs> give me that fruit of the month. I'll take it. I'll give me some fruit. <laughs> this month's fruit is a banana. Oh, no, no, no. And there it is. Wait for next month. I might get an orange. Correct. Or you can go to the store. <laughs> what are you gonna do with a papaya? Eat it. <laughs> What do you do with a papaya? Do you, do you, I, you throw I it in a juice? juice it. But how does a papaya just alone taste? Or is it like cantaloupe where it's like water but a little bit of tang? Look up papaya recipe. Like, is it sweet? Is it? 
I only had it mixed with other stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I don't, I don't know what a papaya technically is. <laughs> <laughs> Behind a <the> fruit. <laughs> it looks to be in the mango family. <laughs> I don't want to hear no comments about how we stupid for not rocking with a papaya. I'm sorry, right. I ain't never had a papaya. Sorry. <laughs> hey, there's like a raw papaya salad. Okay. <laughs> what did that do for me? Garnish and stuff. Dolma? Dolma? Is that a. Uh... Split cheap chickpeas. Uh, it might be Indian. Oh, curry. You put it in, okay, papaya. How Coconut does Coconut water it ice cream taste? with papaya sauce. Hey, hey, hang on. Uh, papaya, it great. has a mild to fairly sweet flavor and a creamy butter-like texture. So it's just soft. Ew. I'm not rocking with no soft fruit like that. Oh, and the first thing people ask is, why does papaya taste bad? And why does papaya taste like poop? <laughs> Oh, oh, a uh, papaya contains an enzyme similar to the digestive enzymes in your stomach. So to some, papaya smells a little like puke. Well, assuming that someone would uh, want to smell their own poop, the answer is if you eat a lot, yes. Yeah, this is just a bunch of weird ingredients, mostly foreign, like mahi-mahi with papaya. Yeah, in many cultures, papaya is even used as a salt-free meat tenderizer. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything other than smoothies, tropical fruit pops. Ah, there we go. Papaya salads. tastes very similar to cantaloupes or a more exotic version of a mango. There is a slight sweetness, but it's not overly powerful. Ripe papaya has a buttery texture that melts in your mouth. Unripe papaya has a harder flesh with little to no flavor. So, I would imagine that the texture would be like a banana. Yeah, somewhere around there. I'm not rocking with that. I don't I, like I it. I try a papaya. I don't like it. Fruit of the Month Club. I like your boy. <laughs> I don't want a single box with naught but a papaya in it. Could have saved a 20. <laughs> now you gotta wait for more fruit. We can just go to the store. But that's it. They entice you with the fruit, so you go to <laughs> Ain't nothing but like a revolving door of like six fruits. You're gonna double up a papaya for a year. Hey, you don't know how many are in the berry family, my guy. <laughs> Give me a bushel of uh, boysenberries. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm throwing it You ain't school. making no jam. Yo, boysenberry jam is flat out. Absolutely. You gonna make it? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll throw it in a. In, in a smoothie, I'll, I'll candy it and, and throw it in a. Why not just do smoothie of the month then? Cause that's Yo, all smoothie of the month. I like your boy. <laughs> everything is like I don't know what the, this is. I guess it's going in a smoothie. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a papaya? <laughs> Besides throw it in a mahi mahi. What the f is mahi mahi? <laughs> Slightly sweet fish, sorry. That smells a little like puke. Don't do that, okay? I refuse. Excuse me. Yep, all right, we're done yep. for the day. That's, sorry, y'all. I was going to try to go as much as I could, but holy. I can't take that crap. And you going to rewind it a little bit for next time? Nope, 3646 me. All right.
I'm not. I'm not going back to it. There's Sorry. a burp. Don't go back. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the papaya talk. Hey, fruit slash smoothie of the month. I'll let your boys. Don't. don't you mean to it. tell me you wouldn't hit up a smoothie of the month? Uh, no. <sighs> You're crazy. What would it? Cause it'd be weird. Some type of smoothie mix. I got smoothie mix. Yeah, okay. So you wouldn't hit up a smoothie of the month? No, I would buy smoothie mix. But you can get it for free in a sponsorship. For like six months. There's a smoothie of the month club, isn't there? Uh, it's the internet. Of course <laughs> there is. It's probably pee in a jar <laughs> of the month. This the crap you're gonna be getting. Banana so spinach, let's, let's go cacao, to the next one. cashews. Let's go to the next mint. One. Nice trash website. Yeah, see trash website, not even counting. Smoothie box. Yeah, there we go. Smoothie box. Let's see what we got. Berries. What the f it's cacao! Kale, banana, zucchini. I could do it with some kale. Green smoothies. I could do it with some green smoothies. I love green smoothies. Clementine smoothie. Eh, gingers, nah. Ginger Ginger's kale. sweet. It's it's really good. And see, once you get a banana, you're going to be mad salty. Like, I can't eat this. I mean, I'm going to. And then you're going to be lying to moms like, this is delicious. <laughs> hey, that, that ain't got banana in it. You didn't blend that banana up. <laughs> I don't see the yellow. I don't see it floating up in there. I mean, I'll do what I need to <laughs> for that sweet box of every month. They got five months and smoothies. For, for, as you can see. No, they got berry smoothies. So there's probably a bunch of berries for the smoothies, like a boysenberry. I keep going back to boysenberry. Three dollars per month. See, you see what I'm saying? It's out. Let's rock out. Yo, smoothie of the month. How at us? Hang on. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, wait, so this is going to build my box. Variety box. Chocolate lovers. Yeah, yeah, fine. Whatever. No, thank you. Oh, $200 every four weeks. For how many smoothies? 25? 25 at three? Yeah, that's about right. That's actually not too bad. See? Hey, that's that's some paid, that's some free advertisement, that's some shields, y'all. Holla at your boys. We can we can hit up the smoothie game. Keep, keep the our, time. Our our engagement is way up, yo. I can't believe they have smoothie boxes. You can't. Who would buy this? I would. You're looking at it now. But what happens when you run out of the smoothie mix and then Hey, guess what? In six more days, here come you your Go to the store now. It's just that We're drinking easy. 25 smoothies in a, in a month. One a morning, you good. Except weekends. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm going to get a, a smoothie today. I want one, but I'd be eating it to my Monday smoothie. <laughs> I ain't got roll over roll over <laughs> smoothie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't say this. We should, we're just talking about nothing. 